Hi! Hi everybody, hello, welcome to my stream, how you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Hello! Hello Boon, hello Rose, hello Niv, hello Surreal, hello Ramen, hello Nero, hello Killers, hello Dead King! How are you guys doing? Welcome to the stream, Surreal! It's your first time here. Oh my gosh. I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Hello! <laughs> Happy Wednesday! How are all of you doing today? How are you doing, Ramen? I like how Ramen comes in. Ramen's like, okay, look for the intro song, and then and then and then um, as soon as I come back on, Ramen's like, okay, unlurk, I'm here now. <laughs> oh, you unlurk to throw shit at me, and now you're going back to lurk. Is that how it is, Ramen? Is that how you? Is that how it is? How are you doing, Boon? <laughs> oh God! Uh, no, you stayed okay. How are y'all doing this uh, wonderful, wonderful Wednesday? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Hi! Are you guys excited for Final Fantasy VI? I know I am. Very, very excited. Uh, today we'll be saving uh, the puppy and Shadow. So that's gonna be a tons of fun. And um, so I was trying to see a guide for side quests for Final Fantasy VI without without getting spoiled um and and it was kind of difficult how are you i'm doing good thank you for asking so yeah i i tried to do like a guide for uh final fantasy 6 but there's not much you can be spoiled on at this point so I don't, I don't know. Uh, no, no, I, I did not read it. I did not read the contents of the, uh, of the walkthroughs. Um, I was just looking at the, the main chapters because most of the walkthroughs actually have it uh, categorized by chapters, like uh, the different uh, uh, locations that you need to go to. So that's the name of the chapters. So I was like, I was like trying to figure out, like, okay, I went to this place. I need to go to this place now, right? Um. So I think. Uh, I am not exactly certain how to do it because different walkthroughs have different pathways, like different locations to go to. Um, so at this point, and I'm not sure what side quests to do and stuff. So at this point, what I'm going to do is um, we're just going to traverse the whole map, except for the place where Kafka's at, which is uh, Vector. Yeah, a vector. Except for that place, we're gonna traverse the whole entire region of um, the world. The square world. <laughs> the square world? Yeah. So yes. Hello, Locker. How you doing? I know there's not much I can do at this point, but... Um, uh, I mean, I know there's not much that I can be spoiled at this point, but I still don't want to spoil myself in case there's some small things here and there that, you know, um, I just don't know of and, um, I don't know, just in case, just in case there's some small things that I just don't know of, right? I just, uh, so I didn't read it. So what we're going to do is just going to go uh, look at the world map and just go from one location to another location. It's mainly just getting the team back, yeah. So we're just going to do that. We're going to focus on getting the team back and going from one location to the next location. So that's going to be our strategy for today, everybody. Okay. How are y'all doing? Enough about strategies. Um, I have some updates uh, about the merch store that Chuanini um, decided to um, update me on. <laughs> the smallest like quest and more things like getting X S person random. Oh, okay, okay. I do at some point want to try to get like the ultimate weapon for each, uh, for each of the characters. If there is one like ultimate weapon, like uh, last week we got uh, Sabin's ultimate move, right? So things like that, like the most ultimate weapon or move or whatever, uh, magic. Esper, whatever um, of of each of the characters, so that's that's some armor, things like that. Yes, I want to try to get it. So we'll see how we can uh, do that. How are you doing, Ducky? How you doing? Um, yeah, that's about it. 
<laughs> That's about it. Um, I do have one merch store update for you guys. Uh, which I don't know if you guys. I mean, at this point, you guys have been waiting for so long. I feel bad for you guys, but it's nothing I can do because it's not my store. How you doing, Rod? You're at work. Okay. Well, I hope work is going to buy going by smoothly for you. Uh, so. I dream of the keychains. I know I'm I'm I, I try my best, but the, but this is not my store. You guys gotta remember that this is not my store. So I gotta. It's how it's doing. It's going okay. Next got merch before Bill. Hey, Next has been streaming way more than me than me, Ducky. Max has been. How many years has it been for Next? Like eight, ten years? I don't know how long it's been for Next. Can't, you can't yell at your mom? No, I can't. I mean, she's an artist. I, 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 I can't do anything. I can't do anything. Um, but... Wait, let me get her... Stuff up. I wanna, I wanna share with you guys something. Give me a second. Okay, I found the I found the message. So she did say that she's gonna open the shop on the twenty second of May, which is next week. Next week, exactly one week from now, on Wednesday. She said she gave me she gave me um she gave me the date of twenty second of May. So we're looking at that particular week of twenty second of May. Also, I can't get it. <laughs> oh no! Wait, what? $200 shipping? What do you mean 200 pounds shipping? Yeah, so um, she told me... I'm not charging you guys $200 shipping. Plus, it's gonna be shipping out of France. Uh, from where Chuanini is at. So you guys... I, I, I sure as hell hope that it's not $200 to ship from France to England. That would be four hundred dollars for you. What? No, that's for the next merch. Oh, okay, okay. That's insane. That's insane. I don't think I don't think shipping is gonna be that much. I hope not. Um, but I I do know that she said that she wanted to start her store. Um, she's trying to get her store up this weekend, and she's trying to. Um, well, she gave herself a deadline of twenty second of May. So hopefully on the twenty second of May or sometime next week. Uh, let's let's give her a few days, like sometime next week, okay? Because you know, s stuff like this usually takes some time. So sometime next week, uh, we might be able to. Um, I think we will be able to um, see the, the, the merch store opening, guys. EU has good shipping prices. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, so as I said, you guys will be getting um, the merch from... If you buy the merch from Chinese store, you'll be getting it from France. Because she will be the one shipping it to you guys through the website. So um, you guys will be... Uh, probably you will, you will need to pay for shipping uh, from France to wherever you guys are at okay so you're not gonna be um, if you're in the if you're in the EU it's good news everybody it's gonna be um, a lot lesser for you guys for shipping okay it only cost me $25 to send you all that stuff oh really only 25 that's pretty cheap for shipping I'm actually surprised um, so yeah, um, like I said, they're gonna be the keychains, but she's also gonna be selling a lot of her merch as well. So please go ahead and uh, support her her merch as well. She has like a cute, she has a ton of cute stuff up in her merch store that she uh, did of her OC. So definitely go and support her for that. Okay. Um, as for the portrait paintings that she has done. Um, I don't think there's going to be many of them because they will require lots and lots and lots of uh, time and effort to make. So she is most likely only going to be doing a couple of pieces. So like two or three. 
So good luck. I wish you the best. And hopefully you guys will be able to get that two or three pieces. <laughs> she is giving me one though. For giveaways for you guys. Uh, when we um, do the um, uh, merch store opening uh, official announcement. So you guys get one portrait for giveaway. Um, the way I think I will do this is probably through the uh, wheel. Uh, you guys can um, redeem using channel point redeem um, for a name slot on the wheel, right? With a maximum of three name slots on the wheel. So it's a maximum of three channel redeems that you guys can do. And yeah, we'll spin the wheel and see who the lucky winner is. And that's how we're going to do it, okay? I hope log it, I live log it out to get the keychain. I Look, it's fine. Okay, good things comes to those who wait. Okay. <laughs> I promise it will be great. So, yeah. Um, so, that's about it that uh, we have for uh, merch announcements. Uh, let's see, what else do I have to say? <gasps> Nothing else. Um, yeah, my brain is completely empty. I have I've one of those brain empty moments right now. So, yep. I'm trying to save up for the 30 million. I don't know. You might just find that that 30 million might just increase to 50 million. So <laughs> Good luck! <laughs> Good luck! Um, I just noticed, yeah, I had that on yesterday. I was wondering, so I put that up on Monday. I was wondering, I was like, who's going to be, who's going to be the first person who uh, realizes there is a new redeem? And the first person was Coffee. None other than Coffee. Coffee was the one. Um, Niv must have been one of those children who threw a temper tantrum and they did not get what they wanted, I guess. <laughs> How are you doing, Founder? Oh, Founder, you decided to make your um, name color completely the same black shade as OBS. I see, Founder. But you know what, Founder? Now that you've done that, it makes you the easiest to spot. Also, you have a moderator icon next to your name. So I know for sure it's you. <laughs> Founder, good luck! I have not changed its state. Wait, what do you mean? You have not changed the color? No, you 100% changed the color because usually it does not look that way for me. It looks like a lighter gray for me. So you you definitely um you definitely changed the color. In my OBS, your name usually looks like dark gray. Unless there's some settings. I updated OBS. Yes, I did. Oh, did that fuck up everything? No. That fucked everything up? Did that really fuck everything up? Oh, that's fucked up. And that's annoying. Yeah, OBS is a fickle beast. Hey, but without OBS, we wouldn't be streaming right now. It's kind of insane that OBS is like a free software and um, it is the only software that people use to stream. <laughs> the main mainstream only soft, big main software that people use to stream. It's really kind of insane that OBS is actually free. That's actually really, really cool. So yeah, GG OBS and creators of OBS. You can use NVIDIA Shadowplay to stream. Can I sh can I stream with my VTuber model and everything? Can I customize how my how my screen looks like? Nah, I think OBS has the best customizability out of any other stream software and beats them by far. Um, sure, you can stream from your Xbox. Sure, you can stream from, I don't know, maybe PlayStation. I haven't tried, but... Yeah, same thing happened to Claude. She was confused who was roasting her. Oh, okay. Yeah, because founder, your name usually looks dark gray. And um, it, it, <laughs> it looks dark gray. So you can actually still see it in the black uh, OBS background. You can use Microsoft Teams to stream. No. No. I use that for work. I'm not going to use that for stream as well. 
<laughs> it's a shitty software. I do not like Microsoft Teams. I'm sorry. And now they have updated Microsoft Teams. It sucks. I'm sorry. I hate it. <laughs> How are you doing, Panzer Soul? Um, I'm, I'm sure there are other uh, softwares that you can use. You hate the new update. Great. It's not just me. The new update success. Um, yeah, it's... it's you you probably can find like a shit ton of other softwares to try and like um you know stream from but you probably would not be able to find one as good or as versatile as obs you should tell work that discord is better than teams look i don't want my work shit to be on discord either i like to separate my work stuff from my fun stuff right guys so i like to separate these two things okay i do not want these two things to be in the same platform no 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 way in hell how are you doing sigma x i am not worried about that i just don't like i d look i usually have an association with things right oh when i open up discord i'm like oh it's fun things or when i open up obs oh it's time to stream it's fun right i don't want to think i don't want to i don't want to go and open up discord and i'm like oh shit it's work shit you know then th then i feel like depressed i don't like that so i don't i don't want that and she said this was fun it was fun is, is it i mean if it's not fun why the fuck would i be doing it oh, no! invite your co-workers to the hench peeps no fucking way no way no way my co-workers are too much of they're too square <laughs> you haven't you haven't met my co-workers you don't know the type they're too square there's there's a nerdy type who are otakus and then there's the nerdy type who don't know anything about the about what goes on in the internet they're the letter so no worst thing is that the new teams got rid of the mic toggle in the toolbar so now i have to and have to have the conference at the front to check if I'm muted or not. Oh yeah, I, I I realized that just now. I was having a meeting using the new teams, and that that happened. I was so fucked up. I know what you mean. Didn't some teachers stream lessons through Twitch? They did. Did you just say square? I did. <laughs> Sorry, I had the word square in my mind. Because I was thinking of Square Enix uh, and Final Fantasy 6. Um, and the Square World. The world is square! Puzzle that we did last week. So I had the word square in the front of my mind. So I used... <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, I should have told them to be here? No. No way. No. With the amount that I cuss. I told you, if, if anyone at work knows I stream, I probably have to squ quit streaming. Unless you guys really want me to quit streaming, yes. So, yeah. And then they wouldn't be squared. No, thank you. I don't, I don't, I just don't. I don't like mixing work with fun. I hate that. It's very unprofessional, guys. Extremely unprofessional. I agree. Okay, <laughs> good. <laughs> ah... I have nothing else to say today, actually. I got nothing else. And I got nothing else. Da -na 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 nothing else. Ah. The fun of yelling at people into single digit hours. <laughs> Look. My my um my colleagues, my working colleagues. They probably sleep by 10 p.m. or something. <laughs> They're not the type who would sleep past, past midnight, guys. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even think they know what anime is. That's how bad they are. That's, that's <laughs> they probably know what anime is, but they don't know about it. They don't know enough about it, no? Bell sleep at DJ hours. I, I will have to agree. I do sleep at DJ hours. Not great. I had to fix that. Um, but yeah. If only I could slice bread via Microsoft Teams. That would be great, wouldn't it, Founder? Then you can like work from home. <laughs> <laughs> then you can work from home. Ah, uh, 
Honestly, over here they're trying to push for. Uh, they just they just uh, made an announcement. Um, they were trying to push for uh, more hybrid working arrangements for work. Uh, meaning, you know, like you go into work like three days a week and then two days a week you, you have like you, you get to work from home and they're trying to make it more like a mainstay kind of thing. But, you know, in Singapore, I don't think it's going to fly so much because employers are still going to be like, nope, I need to see your face in order to know that you're working. And it's still very old fashioned that way, which kind of sucks, which kind of sucks, unfortunately. Ding. Well, I've got nothing else to say to you guys. Same here. Managers are so insecure. They are. Actually, the middle management people are the worst when it comes to insecurities. Um, I, I don't know if it's just that generation. I don't want to say that because I've met some really cool bosses who are fine with you. not With, with not them not seeing you and just like, you know, just making sure that you're working. Right? And, and I mean... There's some bosses who are like, okay, your work speaks for itself. I don't need to see, I don't need to see you to know that you're working. If I, if I see your work being done, that's good enough for me. And there, there are some bosses like that, which is great, and I appreciate that. But the, unfortunately, the, that is rare. Unfortunately, that's the rare case. <laughs> the majority of them are like, oh, you're not here, therefore you are not working. It doesn't matter if I'm staying up till like 2 a.m. To, to work. It does not matter. But you are not here in the office. It doesn't matter if I'm, pr um, if I'm producing, um, if I'm working harder than anybody else. And my productivity level is a lot higher than, than everybody else. It does not matter. But you are not here in work. Which means you're not physically present. Which means you're not doing work. <laughs> I hate that. That's so fucked up. It's so fucked up. Ah, that's why you always give 110% for the first few months because then they trust you to work without checking up on you. Um, no, that's not how it works here, Ducky. Mm, nope. Well, well, working in the UK must be a lot better than working in Singapore. Um, over here, even if you give your... If you... Okay, over here, this is how it works. If you give 110% at work for the first three months, they're going to be like, Oh, this person can work. We can give them all the shit. We can give them all the shit. Um, so, because we can give them all the shit, we're going to load them with more work after their probation ends. And you know what? Then they can work for 150%. That's how it works. They, they, that's how it works. Yeah, I don't do that. Yeah, I don't do that. Um, people over here are like, oh, if you if you show them that you can work, that you work a lot harder than other people, they will just take advantage of that. They will take advantage of that, and then they will give you a lot more work. <laughs> it's insane. The people who are lazy don't get any work, and the people who work the hardest get the most work. So where's the fairness in, in, in all of that? There's zero fairness. I'm so glad you don't work in the office. You know, sometimes I just feel like maybe I shouldn't work in the office. <laughs> maybe I should not work in an office and that would be better. <laughs> there is just no justice in the world. So you gotta find that right sweet spot in the middle where you're just doing just enough work to not seem like you're completely like a lazy bum. Right? Just enough, but not too much. You gotta find that right sweet spot. So they just don't overload you and then you're just doing like normal job. Working hours, you know? No, that's not what I said. You can't be lazy. If you're lazy, then uh, they're gonna grade you really badly. eggs. Y'all better be having a good day or else. <laughs> We're talking about work. I don't think that's exactly fantastic. But how are you doing, Plosix? Can we get a shout out for Plosix, please? Can we get a shout out for my favorite goblin mafia boss? How are you doing, Plosix? I saw you were playing like Genshin Impact uh, just now. Well, it was afternoon time for me. It was afternoon time for me. How are you doing? 
same here but i just tell them i'm a casual worker and that's not my job and they keep offering me full time but i don't want to be the boss yeah i mean it's always important for you to draw boundaries of what you are willing to do in in a job and what you're not you know and if you know if you if you if you tell your your supervisor manager whatever the the higher ranking officer above you that you're reporting to and you tell them and and they still treat you like shit then yeah it's time for you to move work is not your life i was supposed to do story to catch up in time for your hot cop mommy before she came out but i got distracted by fishing <laughs> I don't know what any of that means because I don't play Genshin, but okay. <laughs> Sounds like you had a lot of fun though, still. That's not true. VTubers are not life. There's a lot of things more to life, guys. Um, I'll shout out the second most unsayso streamer here. What do you mean second most? Fuck you, founder! Okay, look. I can't be more say-so. I did. I screamed at a fish for several hours. That sounds like a lot of fun. I wish we can scream at fish, guys. And then all, all they'll do is... Blah, 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 blah. And they, they're just not gonna fight back. You can scream as much as you want at them, and they're not gonna say anything in return. It's very satisfying. Screaming at fish. <laughs> wow, Ducky is 97% say so? How are you doing, Otaku Ben Gamer? That is right. No, it's not. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Ren Hecka, how are you doing? Look, my ba I don't think my stream is as unsafe -so as you guys say. Like, I've seen many other VTubers and other streamers, this is real life streamers, this streams, which are way more unsafe -so than my stream, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. At most, at most, we tell a dirty joke or two, right? Or we laugh at pee pees, and that's fine, right? But. That's it. That's literally it, guys. That's fucking literally it. Okay, that's literally it. It's, I don't. I. I wouldn't. I wouldn't call that as unsay so. Like honestly. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, how are you doing, Ryan Hika? How are you doing, the talk of Ben Gamer? Um. Uh, but yeah, it's it's true. I reject this. What do you mean? You are not like most people here stream. What do you mean? Are you saying politics is is very unsafe? So I don't think he he he's quite fine. Uh, he's okay. He's I have I have lurked a lot on his streams and he's not too bad. He really isn't too bad. Yeah, I mean he really isn't too bad except for his like. Okay, no, I'd rather not say. But yeah, that's not gonna make my case. But yeah, um, he, he's really not too bad as compared to most other VTubers. <laughs> I mean, I still remember the underwear incident, but you know, I have a same similar underwear incident of my own. So, I mean, that's 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 how chat's doing. That's not us, right, politics? That's not us. So that's fine. How are you doing, Juan? <laughs> how are you doing? Oh man. Look, there are many, many lewd VTubers around. Plotix and I are not one of those. We're not. We're really not. Even Ducky's not. Ducky's also not. At most, we just swear. And at most, I just swear like a sailor, right? Just that's, that's the most that happens, guys. Doing great, okay. I'm glad you guys are doing great. But I have seen him bark for Emmy doll. <laughs> Was it a dare? <laughs> We got a new PM today. Oh yeah, that happened. <laughs> it was like a fucking afterthought for me. Oh yeah, that's right. When that happened, we got a new prime minister today. <laughs> it just shows you how much I don't fucking care. Oh my god. Oh man. I don't really care because... Uh... It's not like I voted for him or anything. Like, put 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 it to vote, right? Be dem democratic. Dem ah, where's democracy when you need it, right? So yeah, no. Bell, I have seen him react to. I I have seen him react to Mori as well. 
It's fine. It's not too bad. <laughs> Look, he has a crush on 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 Mori. It's fine. If it, he he has a he has a crush on her, it's fine. Okay, that's a different thing. Okay, it's a waifu crush. It's a different thing. You don't mess with waifu crushes, Founder. <laughs> Phantom, are you doing? I'm not late. You're late. Look, you're just it's it's nothing. We hardly did anything. It's just like half an hour into just chatting. We haven't really done anything. We get to vote for a president that doesn't do anything important. I don't even remember the president's name. Um. Shit. We did get a new one, didn't we? I forgot. Who was it? Oh yeah, we do. I, I do remember. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh my god. I'm the worst citizen ever. Fuck. No, I remember. I remember. Um, new president is Tharman Chanmugaratnam. Yes, I remember. I forgot. Suddenly, I feel better about being oblivious. No, it's just that. Okay, I I will explain. Okay, I will explain. The reason is because the president really doesn't do anything in Singapore. It's not like the president, not like the president of the United States. Okay, um, doesn't doesn't it really just like a figurehead? Actually, it's more like a uh, like an ambassador, if you will. Okay, um, like a global ambassador. Okay, so the president really doesn't do much. The prime minister, however, yeah, prime minister is important in Singapore. Um, but. Uh, the prime minister doesn't exactly get voted in, you know, not like the presidential elections you see in the U.S. No, so what happens is whatever party that gets the majority percentage vote, okay, in parliament, right, um, is the the majority that forms the majority in parliament. Um, that party gets to elect within themselves. They get to pick a prime minister. So it's not like we get a choice in any of that shit. We don't. So I'm just like, I mean, because we don't get a choice for the prime minister, I don't fucking care. Uh, and also because the president doesn't get do anything and we vote for that. I don't, I don't, I don't fucking care. So that's, that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter to me anymore. I want you to know, Belle, that something I picked up from you is sharing the existence of Ubu birds. Oh, fucking hell. That's the worst bird in history. Why would you do that, Plozix? It's fucking birds wake you up at 5 a.m. in the morning. Ooh. Ooh. 5 fucking a.m. in the morning. They start doing that shit. It's the worst bird in ever in existence. It's, 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 it's a disgusting bird. It kills other other um, other birds' babies, so that other birds can um, take care of their babies. It's a parasite. It's it's fucking gross. Toxic. How are you doing, guys? Apparently, Sudan has more pyramids than Egypt. I wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't be surprised. How are you doing, Toxic? <laughs> PM is what you're gonna run for, right? I know. <coughs> That's too much work. <laughs> no one ever believes me when I tell them that, that they are ooh and they're always stunned when I show them. Yeah. Literally. Uh, no one knows this, but they're a parasite bird even in Singapore. They're, okay, the actual name for the bird is a coel. Uh, K-O-E-L. They're the Asian coel bird. Uh, so if you Google that and if you go on YouTube, Google Asian coel bird, you should be able to um, hear the ooh sound in fact you know if you go on youtube and just like google uwu bird you should be able to hear it um but yeah the actual proper name for this bird is the asian coil bird okay it's a fucking uwu bird bell uh you have not dealt with the kia stealing your car parts and you can't say it's the worst bird <laughs> well you know what founder i don't have a fucking car because it's just too way way too fucking expensive in Singapore. So I don't have to fucking worry about some fucking bird stealing my fucking car parts. Okay? That's where I'm at right now, guys. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> ah, why are the
the car is like 150k at least here, guys. Why? I can't. This is everything is just like oh god. It's such a nice place at once, and you know it. It's some and sometimes, sometimes, Singapore is just such a great place because we have everything here, like everything. Any otaku culture, whatever you can find, shit ton of Japanese things here. I love it. It's great, right? It's very convenient in some ways, but in some ways, it's really shit. It's really shit. <laughs> Get rich, right? That's that's easier than it sounds. You're say so as fuck. I am. Thank you. Uh, the day you see a bird hold a damn wrench, you'll see a bird steal. <laughs> they just kill other birds and break their eggs for no reason. They do that. It's fucking gross. They do it just because they're mean. At least the uwu birds get benefit from their assholery. Um. Yeah, but they cause a lot of other damage. Like not only are they um killing other birds, other baby birds. Okay, they're killing other baby birds, number one. They're also causing a huge inconvenience to us humans who has to wake up, like... In the morning, but not so early in the morning. We lose sleep over that shit. So yes, I, I'm, I, ki I shit you not. Um, the other day, after stream... After stream, that was like what? 2 a.m.? Like 1.30, 2 a.m. I heard the fucking ooh bird go, ooh! I was like, wait, what? He's now nocturnal? It was it was insane, guys. It was fucking insane. I heard an ooh bird go ooh like at fucking 2 a.m. in the morning. We're not safe anymore. They have adapted, they have grown to it. They, they have changed. And now they've become nocturnal as well. I I it's insane. Yep. <laughs> You're talking about blue jays. Okay, but you know that the ooh bird does the same thing. So they go to another bird's nest. I think it's either a crow's nest or a miner's nest. I'm, I'm thinking, or it's a starling. It's one of those, those black birds, right? It's, a, it's either a miner, crow, or a starling. I can't remember which one. I think it's a starling. Uh, I'm guessing it's a starling. Uh, so it, it, it goes to a starling's bird nest. It takes the eggs from the starling's nest, drops it on the ground, drops it. So the birds, the baby birds instantly did. Okay, didn't get a chance. Drops the fucking bird, uh, drops the egg on the ground and then puts its own egg inside that um, uh, starling bird's nest. And then it flies away and then it's like, that bird is your problem now. That baby bird is your problem now. I'm done. That's my parenting over. And, and that's what this bird does. It's gross. How are you doing, Devo? Good morning to you. <laughs> so I'm guessing Blue Jays do the, sa do the same thing too. They get zero benefit from it. Okay, that's even worse. They're just fucking gross freaks. <laughs> they just murder for fun. Blue Jays just murder for fun. Okay, that's even worse. It's fucking hell. But at least Blue Jays look cute. At least the Blue Jays look cute. Okay, and they don't go ooh at fucking 2 a.m. or 5 a.m. in the morning. How are you doing, Tato? Blue Jays just murder hobos around the neighborhood because they can't. That's <gasps> so hard. We don't get Blue Jays over here. Um, unfortunately, we don't get Blue Jays over here because hopefully the Blue Jays can do the same to the Uwu birds and the Uwu birds can go extinct. So Uwu birds are actually not native to Singapore. They were a parasite brought here long, long time ago. I swear, if I can go back in time and kill the motherfucker who brought those birds here, I would. <laughs> I would! Some old uncles walking around with blue jays. Oh, okay, you're, you're talking about people having blue jays with, as pets, as singing bird pets, right? So that's a big thing over here in Singapore. There are um, a lot of like the old, old, old folks, right? Especially the male old folks, the old uncle dudes, right? They like to gather around in the coffee shops. Remember, like the the, I was telling you about the coffee shops in in Singapore. They would gather around and bring their bird cages and let their birds sing. There, there's usually like a bird singing competition which they have. Um, so that's like a thing over here. 
They do that. How are you doing? Briz Blizzard Elix Place. How are you doing? Blizzard Elix Place. How are you doing? Yeah, the Ubu bird, the Asian coel bird. Hey guys, we've been through this before, many times before. Get with the program, Sigma Mix. <laughs> Blue Jays are cool as fuck. They look nice. They look very pretty. But they're just fucking assholes. You can just call me Blizzard? Okay. Yeah, I, I know. But at least, you know, like the first time around, uh, first few times, I like to, to, to say the full name before I shorten it. Right? You know, because when we shorten it, we become pals already. So. You know, the first few times I I, I, I call you by your full name and then and then I shorten it. Show speed Chinese song. <laughs> I must sleep. When do you just when you do just chatting usually? Okay, fine. I forgive you. I wonder what they would do if you keep them in ex in an enclosure with nothing but them. You mean nothing but the but the Ubu birds? They will kill each other off, it seems. <laughs> I hope they kill each other off. That sounds like a good plan. They're like, no, you take care of my kids. 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 And then, you know, accidentally kill each other's kids. Hopefully that's what happens. I don't know. <laughs> I'll wake up for work and you're gaming. Okay. Oh, Papa Plot was an avid bird watcher. Blue Jays were uh, the only ones that were shoot on sight for him. <laughs> so, you guys might not know this as well, but uh, Singapore is actually known for bird watching. Uh, lots of people actually come down to Singapore for bird watching because Singapore is located at the uh, equator, right? So a lot of the times when the birds are doing like their migra migratory, when they're on their migratory paths, when they're either flying north or flying south, whatever it is, a lot of the times they pass by Singapore. So uh, we get lots of migratory birds, uh, especially during migration seasons, right? And we get to see lots of very, very cool looking birds. So lots of bird watchers love uh, coming to Singapore. Hey Gumpers, how you doing? Same, I heard her saying something about laying eggs, but I'm too tired to put it together. Yeah, we're, we were talking about the Ubu bird, Gumpers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, what's this about an Ubu bird? Fuck you, Panzerzol. If a Singaporean asks me, what is this about an Ubu bird? I will just tell them to fuck off. Because you know as well as I do, the pains of the fucking Ubu bird. Oh, fuck. Blue Jays just get along with each other so they won't kill each other. Not only are they assholes, they're racist assholes. Wow. I don't know if Ubu birds are like Blue Jays. Um, but I sure do hope they kill their own kind. That would be great. That would be great if they do kill their own kind. I would be extremely happy if they do. So. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I don't know how we started talking about birds, guys. I, I it was Plozix. It was Plozix. Plozix brought up the Ubu bird, and now, now, <laughs> I had nothing in my brain. I had literally zero nothing. My brain had like, it was empty. I was like, do I know words? Words. <laughs> that was how it was like when I started stream, guys. And suddenly we started talking about birds. Amazing. Ah, uh, you've been going to bed at 7 p.m. and waking up at 4 a.m. Dude, that's nine hours of sleep. That's way. That's a lot of sleep. You're lucky you're able to get like nine hours of sleep. If I'm able to get seven hours of sleep, I'm lucky. Seven is just what I need. Uh, seven is like perfect time for me. Perfect sleep uh, amount for me. So. <laughs> it really has. I've been so many more crows in my area over the past year. Wait, people sleep. You need sleep. You need to detoxify your brain. That's the only time your brain gets to detox, guys. When it sleeps. So you need to sleep. Okay, promise me that, guys. You need to sleep. The, the more sleep you get... I mean, okay. You just need to get enough sleep, okay? Enough sleep that you don't feel tired throughout the day, okay? And if you do that, um, your brain stays healthier longer. It's true. It's scientifically proven. Crows here are starting to gangs with pe starting. What? 
They're ganging up with pigeons? I've not seen that shit. I've not seen crows ganging up with pigeons. Because where I was from, they used to call, uh, call crows. Because... Um, I, I actually remember... Um, when I was younger, they used to call the crows. So you, you'd see like uh, dudes with guns. Uh, they come and they would shoot down the crows uh, because there's just way too many crows and you know they try to control the population and I, I thought that was insane to me uh, but yeah I actually I actually seen some uh, so yeah crow culling I mean I was like really little though crow culling and um, uh, but I've not seen that recently and and because of that you know I I hardly see crows I don't see crows very often. We see crows grabbing takeaway boxes from... Okay, but we do know that crows are smart. Crows and minas are really, really smart. They have adapted well to urban living. They know. They're no longer afraid of humans. They know how to scavenge and find for the best grub. They do know. Like, I've seen minas go and swoop down into restaurants just to pick up the pick up the food from the ground and then swoop back out. I've seen minas do that. They're fucking smart. Um, they're, they've adapted super awesomely to um, urban living. But I did not know that crows gang up with pigeons nowadays because pigeons are dumb as fuck. And I hate pigeons. So. Now I want the art of some hit goth crow girl leading her flock of normie pigeons. <laughs> I hate pigeons. Pigeons suck. Can I get some of your crow gang leaders over here? We could really use them to drive off the squirrels. What's wrong with the squirrels? Squirrels are cute! Besides, you're gonna offend founder. Tree demons out here destroying the garden. Do they really destroy the garden? Squirrels? I thought all squirrels do is just like, uh, hoard nuts. Pigeons- EW! Why would you eat a rat off the sky, Spiffy? That's fucking gross! Would you eat a rat, Spiffy? Eating a pigeon is akin to eating a rat. It's fucking gross. It's gross. Um, how are you doing, Spiffy? I feel like an anime-style pigeon girl would have eyes that look in the opposite directions. Yes, totally. <laughs> <laughs> totally, I get what you mean. They taste ew. Okay. I wanna see I wanna see in chat. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask. Would you eat pigeons? Yes or no? I wanna see your answers in chat. I wanna see either yes or no in chat. Would you eat a pigeon? Like fry it, cook it, eat it. Would you eat a pigeon? Yes or no? What the fuck, you guys? Really? I've seen two answers so far. Three if we count spiffies. Bell, not the kind of city pigeons. They are some other ones. What other ones? I'm talking about the city pigeons, which are fucking gross, like the rats of the sky. I'm, I'm talking about those gross shit. Um. <laughs> Would you eat a pigeon? Yes or no, guys? Squirrels obliterated my bonsai. Oh no! Not the bonsai! When I put them up for the sun while I was... Oh no! Not the bonsai! Every year they cost several hundred dollars of damage to our garden. <gasps> no! Bonsai is super expensive. They're also a major source of damage to electrical systems. Founder, why you do this? Founder, go have a talk with your people! You're in luck, uh, Phantom. We have Founder here. Founder can do some pest control. Founder can talk with the other squirrels and um, he can put in a word for you. You're in luck here. Um, oh, Founder, I see your name now. Did you change your name color? That's odd. Squ <laughs> you wouldn't eat a city pigeon. City pigeon, no. Okay, good. Niv, would you eat a ci city pigeon? What about you, Panzer Soul? Would you eat a city pigeon? The Brock pigeons they're called. Would you eat those? No one would eat that toxic waste of a bird. Okay, good. You're asking the same people who would eat anime girls. <laughs> Why not? Ew! 
That is so gross. I've eaten country prisons before. Kind of mad, but not terrible. Ew. I okay. I don't know why. I guess. I guess because city pigeons have completely ruined pigeons for me forever. Okay, they're just fucking gross. Um, so I cannot look at pigeons the same way as I look. As I look at a chicken, I look at a chicken and I'm like, yeah, I can eat the chicken. But if I look at the pigeon, I'm like, no, I can't eat that. Pig I can't eat that shit. So yeah, yeah, the literal garbage. They're rats of the sky. Look, those things are plump as fuck. Ah, I can't. I can't. I'm at 22k. Nice. So you did not touch it. OBS is just doing weird shit then, Founder. That's so strange. That's so fucking strange. OBS is just doing weird shit. Versus country pigeons that eats bugs and worms and stuff. Okay, those stuff are more nutritious. I guess so, yeah. Ah, uh, okay, you know what? Let me let me just take a look. City pigeon versus country pigeon. Let me see if that looks appetizing for me. City pigeon. Versus country pigeon. Okay, let me let me let me let me show you guys. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Okay, give me a second. Let me move myself. Okay, there we go. Where's the? Where's my? There we go. Oh, no, they still look like shit. They still look like shit. Nope, no fucking way am I ever gonna... No. Like... You're talking about this w No, this one is a cross. It's not. Where is a... Where is a country pigeon? Is this a country pigeon? Is this the type of country pigeons you're talking about, guys? Are those the country types of pigeons you're talking... Country pigeons you're talking about? Apparently, wild pigeon meat is good. <laughs> Gumpers! <laughs> ah, eating city pigeon is like being last in the line in the gangbang and not having for <laughs> Oh god! Oh man! Is that a wild pigeon, guys? Is that the wild pigeon you're talking about? I really missed 10 seconds ago and I hadn't read it. <laughs> Why not Google Rose Pigeon instead? No. They're the decorative bird, not food. So this is not the, the pigeon that you eat. I use an insane image. Is is that is this the pigeon that you eat? I want to see the pigeon that you eat, guys. Wild pigeon that is edible. Wild pigeon. Okay, let me just... Okay. Maybe I'll just Google wild pigeon and see how it looks like. No, it's fucking gross. These are the pigeons I see in the... No. No, I will not eat this shit. No. For eating. <laughs> Ew! No, 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 no. Is it still the same pigeon? No, I will not eat it. That's beyond gross. It's still the same type of pigeon. I'm not gonna eat it. That's fucking gross. I can't. I can't. No. No, it's just gross. It's fucking gross. No. No way in hell. No way. No way. Check out the English Potter Pigeon. Okay, let's see that. English Potter Pigeon. Okay. Okay, give me a second. I'll Google that. English Potter Pigeon. Let's do that. Why are they all puffed up? Why are they doing weird shit? Why are they doing that? It's really fucking gross. <laughs> Isn't this the same birdie I saw just now though? This is the same this is the same birdie I saw, but with this like chest puffed up. This is the same birdie I saw with this chest puffed up. <laughs> uh, I will not eat that. Look at the legs that I know it's like an owl's. You guys have seen an, owl, an owl's legs, right? It's exactly like that. Um an owl has, has really goofy legs. Owl legs. It's really fucking goofy. 
Uh, yeah, they, they, look, look, look at that. Look at that. Just look at that. They have super long legs. Yeah, this one. It looks like fucking owl legs. <laughs> long owl legs. Oh, man. It looks like a shaved owl. It does. Oh, man. They were bred to look like that. That's so fucking gross. I will still never eat a pigeon. I will never eat a pigeon ever. I think they were made to have the worst, most meat in one part. Oh, the most like breast meat kind of thing? Okay, maybe. Maybe. Weirdest thing I've eaten is probably the old country bumpkin meal of turtle soup with po possum. What? Like actual turtle? No, you know that's a thing here, right? You can get turtle soup here very often. Um, and the Chinese love that. Uh, there's uh, not all of them, but not all of them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, pe people do have that. Um, there are shops, uh, specialty shops, selling just turtle soup over here. Uh, that that you know, possum hash though. That's kind of gross. Backwoods folk call it surf and surf. Oh god. Why would you eat a possum? Like, why would you eat trash animals, guys? Like, okay, possums, um, rats, pigeons, all of these are considered like trash animals. You know? They, they basically rummage. Oh god, it's so fucking gross. Why would you eat a possum meat? That's, that's too gross. No, it's too fucking gross. I, I, I can't. Trash animals are the greatest, they're not. Turtle soup is somewhat normal. The weird part is the put yes. The weird the weird part is the possum hash. That's the weird part. Dusk with his parts and turtle soup. What do you mean? Prata. Oh, Prata. Yeah, uh, uh Dusk has Prata. I don't think Dusk has ever mentioned that he eats turtle soup though. In the mountains, possums do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you eat it only if there is nothing else, true. Although I don't, I, I think, I think if I were uh, caught in a survival situation where I had nothing else to eat, um, and I it was either do or die, I had to eat like some sort of like snake meat or lizard meat or or possum meat or whatever, right? If I had to eat one of these things, I think I would just die, guys. I think. <laughs> I think I, I'm, I'll be fine with eating snake meat. I'll be fine with snake. I'll, I'll, I'll be 100% uh, serious with you guys. I'll be fine with snake. But not like lizard meat. Lizards are gross. Not lizard meat. Not bugs. I'll be fine with snake. Your favorite meat might be gator. Okay. Yeah, I heard I heard uh, uh, gator meat It's like uh, tastes like chicken. Like white. It's white meat, right? Yeah, that's what I've heard. Gumpers, yeah. Tastes like chewy chicken. So, <laughs> I will be fine with snake meat. But, I will not. N never. Never have lizard. I won't have bugs. I will never eat bugs. Never never in my life would I ever eat bugs. Um, I will never have uh, um, pigeons. No fucking way. Okay, 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 okay. If I was in a forest like a jungle or forest or whatever okay and i had to eat a bird only then would i eat a bird even if it's a pigeon even if it's a pigeon okay guys <laughs> fried crickets are okay fried crickets are a delicacy in a lot of uh, asian countries as well like I know in Korea, South Korea especially, um, grasshoppers are a big thing there. And if, if I was stranded, I would die. I would actually just try to go for the uh, fruits. I'll be honest, I would just try to go for fruits. Frog legs are, yes. So frog legs are a thing here too. People would eat, for, uh, po uh, people would eat frogs in Southeast Asia, yes would um cook a frog yes don't forget to clean and skin your reptiles before you eat them ew i don't think i is so that's another problem the first thing is being able to eat it right the, the next thing though guys 
is whether you know how to prepare the food um, which you know in my case I don't so because I don't know how to prepare the food I'm not gonna be able to eat it <laughs> I'm gonna die either way even if I'm fine eating the food even if I'm fine eating the animal or insect or whatever I don't know how to fucking prepare that shit so I'm just dead either way unless it's a fruit I'm just dead <laughs> God, I am so dead. I never cared for frog legs, but I used to go frog gigging to get the frogs for my family. That was fun. Aww. I have never done things like that. Um, I've never caught bugs. I've never caught frogs. N ne never done any of that, that sort. N nothing at all. Um, I have been born and bred in... Um, in a city my whole life so i have no fucking clue how to do shit like that frog gigging is essentially spear fishing for frogs i won't be able to do that i won't be able to do that not one bit so i went fishing one time um i could not put the bait on the hook i, <laughs> I could not do it i could not I couldn't do it. I couldn't put the the um, the bait on the hook because it was still live bait, right? Uh, it wasn't like the uh, fake bait, right? It was it was live bait. I couldn't do it, so I got the uh, the 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 dude who was uh, supervising us to go fishing. Um, I got him to to do the hook for me, and then I tossed it in the sea. <laughs> Are you doing thunder, Nikki? There is still a possibility of finding poison fruit. That's true. I'll take my chances though. People say they won't or can't do something until that hunger starts to set and that real hunger and then the animal comes out. Probably. I have not I've never hit that portion. I've never hit that stage before. Ever. So I wouldn't know. I can't I can't tell for sure. How are you doing coffee? Couldn't you use corn? You use corn for fishing? What? Really? I've never seen people use corn for fishing. Um, maybe. I don't know. I'm, I, I don't fish very often. I don't know. Um, the only ones I've seen over here are like the, the, the fake uh, plastic, whatever, shimmery baits that you see. Or like uh, prawns or shrimps. Things like that. Corn kernel can be used instead of worms. Well, I... The dude I went fishing with, the, the, the old uncle who, who brought us fishing, did not tell us this. He had a whole like box full of live shrimp or something for us to take in and, and, and hook. It was gross. I didn't like it. Doing good. Did not have to take overtime today. Nice. Question. If I were to take you hunting for deer and I did all the field stripping and such, do you think you're capable of taking the shots? Um... That is a hard question. I know definitely I will not be able to handle the meat stripping, whatever, the meat, the handling of the meat. I definitely will not be able to handle that, okay? I won't. I can't, okay? Um, I have not thought about shooting a deer. I'm thinking about it. I might be... No, I don't think I can. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought I could, and then the image of Bambi just like f shot in my head, and it was just like just flashed in my head, you know, Bambi, and I'm just like, no, I don't think I can. <laughs> I don't think I can. I am a city baby. Yes, I am. I ca I don't think I can. I can do deer hunting, guys. I don't think I can. I don't think I can shoot any animal. <laughs> I'm dead in the forest. I'm dead if I'm lost in the jungle or the forest, guys. I'm dead. I just need... <laughs> I gotta pray that there's some sort of fruit somewhere. Or if I find mushrooms and I gotta hope to God those mushrooms are not poison. <laughs> I, can't. I can't. I get it. I love hunting, but you gotta be ready for that shit when you do it. Yes. Yeah. You, you, you gotta be fine with it. 
If not, you know. Also, uh, when you're taking the shot, you gotta be make you, you gotta make sure you have a good aim and you shoot the deer correctly, because otherwise the deer suffers, right? If you don't shoot it at the at an extremely fatal point, I've heard of that, and that's and that's even worse for um for the deer. So. But you gotta be ready for that too when you do. I don't judge anyone for not being able to. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I, I'm not. I'm not able to do it. I know people who have been um, deer hunting and stuff though. But I, I can't. I don't think I can. At least the monkeys can help you. Look, if it's monkeys, I will shoot the fucking monkeys' brains out. I will do that shit just for fun. If I had a gun and I saw a monkey, monkeys did. Yeah. Yeah, I will use that fucking monkey for target practice. Monkeys did. Yep. Yeah, I have no qualms shooting a monkey. Absolutely zero. <laughs> My hands will be as firm and steady. You know, steady as a fucking rock. You know, I'm, I'm, yeah, no. I won't have second thoughts if I'm shooting a monkey. Yeah, missing the shot and injuring the deer and not killing it is an awful feeling. Yeah, that's even worse, isn't it? Yes. I love your yapping bell. Thank you, Rose. Honestly, don't know how I'm doing it. <laughs> Honestly, don't know how I do just chatting every day. I don't know. I don't know how I do it. Also, army teaches us a way to check if a fruit is safe to eat. Okay, what what is the way? Panzer so. So over here in Singapore, if you reach a certain age, about 18 years old or so, okay, you've got to enlist in the army for at least one and a half years. I think it's one and a half years now. You gotta enlist in the army for one and a half years, go through basic training, come out as a soldier. Um, because we're a small country, so um, we gotta do that shit. Um, all, all, all the males got to do it. All the males, uh, male Singaporeans got to do it. She had no problem with taking fish out of water. Look, fish is different. I will be fine with fishing and, and like I said, I'm fine with fishing as long as it's not live bait I'm putting up on the end of the hook. I'm fine with that. Um, I'm fine with fishing but I don't think I can shoot a cute deer. Deers are cute. This <laughs> is I do. <laughs> you yap like a bro. I think only you think so, bros. <laughs> <laughs> is hell trying to get when it's bad when it's a bad shot I had to run 1km with 30 kg of stuff and take like a 300 meter standing oh god that sounds horrible for you and for the deer i know a guy from the amazon that will go boar hunting with his buddies using only knives which is fucking it's oh god that's insane so in singapore we do have boars we do have wild boars we have wild boars and we have monkeys those are things that uh, if you go into like uh, like areas which have lots of trees, maybe a little bit a uh, little forested age area or like a reservoir area kind of thing, um, if you're lucky, you get to see a whole family of boars. Um, you will 100% see monkeys. There are monkeys everywhere uh, here, um, but the boars, the mo the monkeys are atrocious. They go into your houses sometimes. Um, they, they've known to, to cause and wreak havoc. Like, um, they will go into the house. If you had, like, your windows open, even if you're living in a high-rise apartment, which most houses in Singapore are high-rise, high right? We have shortage of land. So all our houses are apartments. So these monkeys will climb up, right? And they will go into the house, steal shit, and then come out. They actually do that. How are you doing, Silver Casual? Do the boars get as big as they do over here, like 300, 500 pounds? I don't know. What is 300, 500 pounds? Let me see. What is that in metric units? God damn it. What is that in metric units? Give me a second. What, how, how, how does... It's for That's good enough for Thank me. you! May you crazy is that the Giga Chad villainess spell Villa 51 heart hope you're well today Villa 51 lurk oh, Villa yeah. 51 sleep Yeah, we definitely do get that Silver Owls, thank you for subscribing to tier 3 What the fuck, Giga Chad? Thank you for subscribing to tier 3 for 14 months 
Who is that G Giga Jet? It's Giga Jet, Silver Owls. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. And thank you for the lurk, Silver Owls. Thank you. A kilo is like 2.4 pounds. Yeah, okay, no, I googled 300 to 500 pounds boar. And yes, the boars get that big. And uh, the thing about the boars in Singapore is that they have husks. They have tusks. Sorry, tusks. They're not like the piggies you find in the, har in the farm. They're the ones with like the tusks. So they can... Um, the wild boars can really... No, no, no. Boars do not go into 24, 20th floor apartment building. That's just the monkeys. How are you doing, uh, Baltart? How are you doing? <laughs> so, the... <laughs> Oh, pens are sold. Thank you. Okay, thank you for, for telling me. Give me a second. I'll get to your uh, message in a bit. Um, so, the boars are really big. And usually, you, they will be with the, their, their babies. Like five babies or something in tow. And you'll see them walking along in pathways and stuff. And if you see any one of these boars, you gotta, you gotta stay far away from them. Um, they get extremely aggressive. There have been many cases where the boars attack uh, humans and they like take a big chunk of... I mean, I remember reading about an article one day. Uh, this runner, this girl was running, right? She was just running and this boar took a huge like gash, like, like, like kind of like gorged her, her thigh out or something. It was, it was insane. Using the tusk, it was fucking insane. Um, yeah, so that shit does happen. Okay, let me see. Panzer Soul says, in order to find out if a fruit is not poisonous, first rub the fruit on your skin. Wait a day to see. Okay, but if you're dying of food in the in, in, in the forest and you see a fruit, you're gonna want to eat it immediately. You don't have like fucking 24 hours to wait. Panzer Soul. You're telling me this is only okay for a situation when you are fine not eating for one whole day. First, rub the fruit on your skin. Wait a day to see if there's a reaction. Then touch the fruit to your tongue. Wait for a reaction. Then nibble a bit. Wait, take a bite, chew, spit out, wait, then try eating it. Okay. Several days. Yeah, it's gotta do several days. So if you're already at the brink of starvation, this this is not gonna work. You just gotta you just gotta Take your chances and eat the goddamn fruit. You think it Yeah, they'll mess you up. Boars are terrifying. I would rather get surprised by running to a wild dog than a wild boar. I don't think you can find many wild dogs in Singapore anymore. Um, most of the wild dogs are gone. Except for, very strangely, in the northern part of Singapore, if you go to where the causeway is at, you know, like the Kranji area, Woodlands area, if you're living in Singapore, the northern part of Singapore, uh, not very developed, uh, those areas, but um, lots of like uh, secondary rainforest kind of things. You can actually find wild dogs. I was really surprised to see that. Um, once or twice. Laying down for a bit. Oh, okay. I hope you have some good sleeps, silver owls. Um... Bell versus nature is always fun. I remember that one time she was looking for a lizard in the house for like two hours and I got sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I keep my house clean. I don't like shit. I, I don't like it when I see bugs or lizards in my house. I keep my house clean. Also, my windows are always closed. So it's really insane that bugs and, and lizards are able to get in. They're able to crawl into like the tiniest like um, cracks or a crevice or whatever. It's insane. Just eat the boar. You've defeated. No. <laughs> I would eat the pig, but no, I won't eat that boar. In general, you can survive about a week without food. I don't think I can survive a day. I don't think I can survive one day, guys. They only have monkeys killing the dogs. No! No, the monkeys don't kill the dogs. You can survive up to three weeks without food. No, I don't think I can. You have a lot of time. No, I don't think I can, guys. I 100% am not going to be able to survive one day even. Maybe two if I had water, but I don't I don't think I can. Kagril, how are you doing? Are you a skeleton? I'm not a skeleton. Yishun is just weird. Yishun is like the Florida of Singapore. 
Moose are terrifying. I've seen them total a truck by getting hit and then just walking it off. <gasps> you know what is terrifying? Moose and deer when they're shedding their velvet skin on their on their antlers. What is that called? You know when they shed the skin, the velvety skin of their antlers? That is fucking terrifying. That looks like demonic like demons from hell. How are you doing, um, Cargill? Good, and you? Doing okay. Thank you for the hit pits. <laughs> Where's the Texas of Singapore? Texas of Singapore? I don't think we have a Texas, but we definitely have a Florida, which is Yishun. Um, yeah, the thing people don't understand about the moose is that they see them in a person and how big they are. It's hard to gauge from the pictures. Yeah, they're huge. They're huge. I've never seen a moose in real life, but I can imagine they're huge. I had a buddy once describe it as however big you think a moose is, I promise you it's bigger than that. Oh, it's gonna be 100% taller than me even. It's gonna be taller than me. How are you doing, mops? Mac and cheese. I, I, I'm not your mommy. And I don't do ASMR. <laughs> yeah. ASMR is not for me. Don't do ASMR. Um, hi, Bell's mom. Hopefully, you're doing good and healthy. She's doing great. Thank you for asking, Baltard. <laughs> as well, and it's sleepy as always. Okay. You obtained a kitchen? Uh, wait, a kitten? Sorry. <laughs> I read kitten as kitchen. <laughs> well, you should give your kitten lots of uh, warm hugs and pets. And scritches. Um, they're huge and don't be fooled by the sizes. I, I, I'm not. I, I know mooses are huge. What's the plural form for mooses? Moose, guys. Is it mooses? Or is it mice? Mooses? Okay. Meese? It's meese? <laughs> it's moose? Does, does moose have a plural form? Moses? <laughs> I'm just googling it. Plural form of, of moose. Plural of moose. Oh, the plural form of moose is moose. It's not mooses, guys. It's moose. Um, it's not meese either. It's, it's just moose. Yeah. Um... Singular and plural form, both moose. <laughs> Zenovent, are you Mises? <laughs> Mises is no. <laughs> the plural of moose is God known. Please. <laughs> yeah, it's just moose. Um, moose are big. Is a struggle trying to move them. <laughs> also, moose are scary smart. People tell you to play dead with a bear because they'll get bored. Um, but a pissed off moose will trample you and then wait for you to move and then do it again. Oh, fuck. That's, that's, that's scary. English with bell 101. <laughs> the plural of moose is run, we have a problem. Also accurate. Moose is too big to give a fuck about it. Yeah. Um. I've never seen a bear in real life. I mean, I've seen a bear in the zoo, right? But that's about it. But I've heard lots of horror stories about bears. Um, also about elephants. Surprisingly, um, I've had friends who were from India, and uh, they've actually told me that um, moose will drop your ass. Yeah, and they've actually told me because they were living in like uh, near rural parts of India, and apparently, if you're living near the jungle uh, in India, uh, elephant rampages are a thing. Jungle elephants are very, very notorious and very fucking dangerous, apparently. Um, because all the elephants I've ever seen are also good natured and sweet, and they're and they're and they're very, very cute with your trunks. You know, they give they, they come up to you and then they pat your head with the trunks. You know, or they or they kind of like um, splash water on you playfully. You know, those are the elephants I'm used to. 
<laughs> no one dare tell me the jungle elephants are he are huge danger to to the human population. I'm like, what? Yeah, apparently they're rampages, and it's insane. I had a park ranger friend once say the best survival tip for encountering any angry moose is to pray and hope for divine intervention. That's what they said about the jungle elephants too. That's scary as fuck. You didn't read the last half of the other messages, but moose are incredible to me. Are they? I didn't know that. Although it kind of makes sense. Because if there's a river in the forest where the moose lives, how, are, how else are they going to cross that river? They got to swim. That makes sense. I've heard apartment complexes in Alexa... Uh, Alaska, fuck. Did I say Alexa instead of Alaska? <laughs> Alexa, tell me more about Alaska. Um, I have moose days where if a moose is spotted in the complex, and nobody leaves until it's gone. Oh, fuck. That's horrible. Sloths are also amazing. Sloths are great. I've booped the sloths, a sloths' notes before. It's amazing. Sloths are just so cute. Amazon, ha Amazon has not bought a state yet. Okay. <laughs> hey, Alexa, bring those block apart. <laughs> You generally speaking, if a moose walks into an area, that area just belongs to the moose now. Oh god, that's... Oh... That's scary. But moose are such magnificent creatures, right? They're very, very cool creatures. I love the antlers. They're so fucking cool. Um, what is that called, guys? Um, when they shed the... Shedding... Antlers, yeah. What, what is that called? Shedding velvet. I thought that was a... A name for that but anyway it looks it looks it looks fucking terrifying like really fucking terrifying yeah like this have you guys seen it okay it's gonna look terrifying right now if you can't take it i i suggest you don't look at screen don't look on my screen um don't look at stream for like a minute okay yeah the molding it's fucking terrifying it's terrifying It looks like a demon from hell. <laughs> Fucking looks like a demon from hell. Wait, it's already one and a half hours? No fucking way. On a day that I had nothing to say as well. Yeah, that's 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 terrifying. Yeah, they're really cool and they're actually super gentle most of the time. As long as they don't get spooked or pissed, it's fine. Yeah, they're, they're really cool. I like moose. I like moose and like a uh, deer. Play the game now. Yeah, we're gonna have to play the game. Final Fantasy VI is a very cool game. You know they rub the endless against trees to remove it? Yes, I know that. I know that. They do that. I was gonna talk to you guys more. <laughs> yeah, look, if you, if you guys, um, if you guys uh, bring my attention to how long I've done just chatting, highly likely I'm gonna be like, oh, I've chatted for way too long. I need to play the game. It's highly likely what I'm going to be doing. How are you doing, Red? Sweden has a few moose swimming program. They put up a few cams to see all the moose. Oh, that's so cute! Guys, there's a special um, bear, uh, bear, bear reserve. Is it in Alaska? No, it's it's somewhere. It's somewhere. I can't remember the name of the bear reserve. It's a very cute place. Um, and I follow it. It starts with a K. So, let, me, let, me, let me see. In the US. I think, I think there's... Where is it? Also, thank you for the, thank you for the gifted sub, Silver Owls. The red, thank you. Have you seen a moose reindeer shedding their entire... I've seen it. It just detaches from the head. Yes, I've seen it. It's insane. It's hard to know what will spook them or piss them off, so it's easy to flip that switch accidentally. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Anyway, there is a very cute bear uh, bear park. I think it's in the U.S. I think um, northern part U.S. or something. I can't remember now. If I remember next time, I will tell you. Um, I'm actually following them on Twitter. Uh, anyway, it's very cute. Every time uh, when it when it when it comes close to like hibernation season. 
they measure the chonkiness of the bears and there's like a bear chonkiness competition. It's so adorable. It's so fucking cute. Um, I learned that reindeers shed their antlers from bee stars. Oh. 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 You watch that anime, Panzer So. I see. <laughs> Nah, Beastars is cool. I like Beastars. Uh, by the way, Belle, if you want to hear what wake me up last year in the middle of the night, it was outside my window. What is this? What the fuck? Good night, Silver Owls. Good night. Um. Um. That was a deer. It sounds like a demonic beer deer. No, that was a deer. Guys, that was a. <laughs> that was a fucking deer. Give me a second. I'm gonna play it again for you guys, okay? Give me a second. I'm gonna show you guys. It's a deer. That sounds demonic. It sounds like the. It's. It sounds like it's in constipation. Oh god. It sounds demonic. I don't want to ever hear it again. <laughs> it's a deer. I can't believe a deer makes that sound. I can't believe a cute deer makes that sound. That's insane. Oh god, that's so gross. That's so fucking gross. Oh man, if I woke up, if I heard that outside my window, I would be I would think I'm still living in a nightmare or something. It sounds like it. What sound did you expect? I mean, certainly not something so it's not something so deep. I wasn't expecting something so deep and like grunting, you know? And, you know, like, I, I wasn't expecting that. Was that the audio from that video that sounded more like a buck than a doe to me? Um, I, I, it was just audio, I think. Yeah, it sounded like a male, male deer. Imagine waking up to this and not knowing what's going on. This is insane, dude. <laughs> You expect this something to, it, it's it's like a very guttural kind of sound, right? It's oh god, it's insane. Okay, we should finally start game, guys. It's like one and a half hours. We should start game. We have a lot of things to get through in game. Um, we in case you guys didn't know, we're playing Final Fantasy VI today. We're continuing where we left off, and um, yeah, we're going to be doing lots of side quests and trying to get back the crew and everything. So that's what it is. A doe sounds more like a weird, loud, kind of fucked up duck. <laughs> okay. I see. I'm, I'm gonna take your word for it. I'm gonna take your word for it. Let's do this, guys. There we go. There we go. Um. Wait, we need to fight. We need to find. Uh, shadow. Right? Yeah, we need to find shadow. We need to find shadow. Okay, in case you guys don't know, um, last week where we thank you. <laughs> uh, the, so. So we're gonna we're gonna be trying to I think the last time we were going to the cave. Yes. How far into FS6 are we? Um we're past the halfway point. So I'm at the point where we're trying to get um our team members again. Uh, we have so far gotten give me a second. We have so far gotten Edgar, Sabin, um Cyan, um Gao, the, 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 the animal boy, um, we've also gotten, who else have we gotten? 
Setzer. We've gotten Setzer. And that's it. We haven't gotten um, Terra. We haven't gotten um, Locke. We haven't gotten um, the sassy girl and the old and the OG son. We haven't gotten these guys. And Shadow, and his puppy. Um, if I remember correctly, right now we're actually going into the cave to find Shadow and um, his puppy, because they're in this cave right now. So that's where we at. Okay, everybody. That's where we at. So that's where it might be one of your favorite designs in FSG. Oh, really? So in this game, my favorite is Sabin. I do like Terra. I think she's a very cute design. She looks like a cute little pixie. She's adorable. Um, I do I do enjoy Edgar and um, Sabin's um, brotherly love. I think they're cute. Um, Setzer is alright for me. I just don't like his uh, player mechanic because of his uh, dice roll thing. I, I don't like that. Uh, not not dice roll, sorry. The um, what was it? Jackpot. Yeah, he does like a jackpot thing. He does like a jackpot thing for his like special move, and it's really annoying. I don't like it. You need to get like the timing just right to get the jackpot, the slots. Yes, that. Yeah, that. I I don't like that. Um. I do, I do appreciate Celeste and Terra for their magic. I do like that. Um, I appreciate Sabin for his um, his raw power. I think that's very, very cool. Edgar is also pretty cool, but that's about it. Yeah, gameplay wise, I don't like him. Yeah, I don't like him. Can you guys hear the uh, game volume? Is it loud enough? Realm has great mech and SPD. Welcome, foolish Wait, mortals. Realm? Thank you for the follow. Christian, audio is Gucci, okay. Who, thank you for the follow, Christian par Party, thank you. Also, hello, not an 800 pound grizzly! That's what, that's exactly what an 800 pound grizzly would say. How are you doing? <laughs> no, but we can hear whatever is going on around me. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm trying to shift things around at the same time. Okay. Now we can go in. Let's do this. Wait, where did I go? Did I enter here? Was this where I came from? Yeah, okay. 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 So we entered the cave. And now we're going up. Let's do this. Who is Realm again? Is Realm the 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 one of the characters' names? I'm really bad with names. When the three of us go hunting on the belt, we always come across. Okay, so we already got this. We already did this. This is this is the boy Gao, right? Okay. Okay. You can get her later though. Realm? I feel like we... Give me a second. Have I already gotten Realm? Wait, 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 wait. Realm Final Fantasy VI. Is she the sassy girl? Is that her name? Yes! It is the sassy girl. So what's the OG son's name? She's a cute, sassy girl. She's very adorable. I like her. Struggle. Yes, that is. Thank you. Thank you for that. Because we, we, I hardly got to spend much time with uh, Realm and Struggle before, um, before the world went to shit with Kefka. So. Let's go in here and see what we can. Fine. 
Um, so I can't remember where the puppy went the last time, guys. No! Fuck. It's a monster. It's a death warden. Ooh. Let's do Phantom Rush. The fuck is Bushido? Chainsaw. Oh wait, am I dead? I did not, I did, oh, okay. Tiger Fang. The fuck is Tiger Fang? Okay, give me a second. I need to heal my party. I forgot to heal my party. Completely fucking forgot to heal my party. Oopsies. Okay, I'm gonna use, um... Yep. And then use Cura. Okay. I compl I completely forgot, guys. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay, so uh, the puppy is here, but I can't remember which cave entrance he was in. Like, I, I can't remember where he went, the puppy. We were supposed to follow the puppy and I can't remember where he went. So, fuck me. We're gonna die. We're gonna be lost and we're gonna just be... Uh-oh. Oh, am I not allowed to go through this door? Okay. Oh no. Ichigeki! Nice. Is this actually the sword that uh, Saiyan needs to use? I feel like these, um, this is probably the sword that Cyan needs to use. Um, let's see. He's currently using Murasame. Oh, wait. He doesn't use Ichigeki? Oh. My bad. Uh. And who uses Ichigeki then? What is Ichigeki? I guess I'm mistaken. <gasps> Tiger Fang! Okay, cool. I haven't played this version. I grew up in uh, this playing this on the SNES. Oh, I see. This is my first time playing uh, Final Fantasy VI. It's a great game. I'm having a lot of fun with it so far. Oh, that's what happens with the rocks! Now I can go this way. Nice. Nice. I, guys, we found, we found Shadow! Shadow's right there! Okay, let me just save first. Oh shit, I can't save. Wait, it can't save? Oh, fuck me. The save point is just there, though. Fuck. Oh, there we go. I can save now. And save. Save. There we go. No, sh sh Shadow's dead. No, Shadow's not dead. He's just passed out. There's a difference. Shadow, I'm gonna save you! There you go, the puppy's here and Shadow's here. You're safe now, guys. Puppy! Woof woof! These wounds are awful, oh no. Wait, who are... Huh? huh? Oh, 
Oh shit! Can I fight the behemoth? She needs, she needs to heal. I, I hope I, I entered the... Yes! Phantom Rush! Yeah, baby! Wait, zero? The fuck? Dragon doesn't do anything? Uh oh. Uh oh. Is he dead? Something's coming from behind? Why am I fighting two behemoths? What the fuck, game? Oh my god. You made it home? Nice. Welcome home, ducky. I mean, it sounds weird if I say that, but... <laughs> Eclipse! Does Eclipse work? I find it insane that um, Sabin's moves um, have like an input to them just like fighting games, you know? It's very cool, actually. We did it! Guys! We beat two behemoths! Nice. We got two behemoth suits. Nice. That's fucking cool. We can't do anything for wounds like these. Oh no. Let's fly to Tamasa on the double. Okay, so we gotta get Shadow and the puppy to Tamasa. Where the fuck is Tamasa, guys? Is it going on its own? Okay. It's a cutscene. It's going on its own. Okay. Okay. Where's the masa? For the life of me, I can't figure out where's where over here. I have to literally look at a map um, telling me where each of the, the, you know, the towns and everything are. Must be having a nightmare. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Now we'll hear now we'll see Shadow's very very sad backstory. Oh shit, it is sa Shadow's backstory! I was right. <gasps> this was Shadow before he became a ninja. You came to try to stop me leaving. I'm sorry, but I can't turn back, boy. Stay here with my daughter. You both deserve to live. <gasps> he had a family? Oh, Nah, the doggy's like, nope, I'm gonna go with you. Cause that's how cool doggos are. Doggers are so cool, we don't even deserve them, guys. Oh man. All we can not all we can do now is wait. Rest will help. Okay. Woof! Woof 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 woof! You take good care of him, okay? Take good care of him. Woof woof woof! Okay, good. He's in good hands, guys. Doggy will take care of him. At least we got Shadow back. How are you doing, V Gaming? Is there anything else here? Just find yourself. 
also fine. Thank you for asking. I saw a huge monster fly across the sky and looked like a giant bat. It's probably a dragon. Oh, this is the dude whose house burned down. There aren't any good places left to play. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Oh no, there are people who died. This is very sad, upsetting. Who died? Is there anybody? Okay, no. Oh, we can't go up this way? Okay, what about this way? No? Okay. How about you? Anything you can say? Abbott's rock is above the water for the first time in 50 years. Um, Head north of town and you should be able to see it. Okay, there should be some stuff that happens there, I think. Um, okay. I'm guessing this monster went there. Whatever this monster is, probably went there. Okay, let's just try to clean out this area. Let's go into the burnt down house. Okay, can't go into the house. So, I guess we go in here. What is this? Oh no, this is Leo! Remember, Leo died! I feel, I feel upset. I feel upset that Leo died. Can we not use his sword, guys? Is Leo's sword f permanently in there like Excalibur? Are we not gonna be able to get his sword? Just first time I played this, I missed the shadow event in the floating continent and spent forever wandering around just trying to find him. Oh no! That really sucks. Can we can we ever get like his sword? His sword is forever stuck in 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 the rock like Excalibur. Do do I need to prove my worthiness before I can get that sword? Immediately wanting to great yes. Once a villain, always a villain. Berry ring. I don't know. I don't know if I want any of these rings. A ring adorned with a pair of silver angel wings cast regen on the wearer. What's regen? No, it's not gettable. Fuck that! How are you doing, Iron Wolf? Regen is... What's regen? Regen is... Um... Yeah, what's regen, guys? Is this one good? Regen is where you gain a tiny bit of health. Oh, it's like leftovers. Okay, like leftovers in Pokemon. Okay. I see. That sounds good. A ring that soothes its wearer's mind prevents berserk and confusion. Protect. That sounds good too. You just woke up? Okay. You would be defiling his grave if you took it. Look, he doesn't need the sword anymore! It's a waste being, like, stuck in the dirt, like that. When I can put it to good use, you know? You can get a better sword, okay. <laughs> Don't be greedy, Belle! Do I have enough? Yeah, I have enough. Here we good. How you doing, Lyle? Bell stuck in the dirt. She can put it to good use. Wait, what? Don't be greedy, she says. Like we don't. <laughs> <laughs> the sword can be used to can be bought in common shops anyway. Oh, wait, really? I didn't know that. I thought it was like a special sword. Mystery veil. 
No, it doesn't do much. Circlet. What is this? Black cow. Numinous robe. Why doesn't it do anything? Raises defense. Magic by two. Why doesn't it show anything, guys, for Luminous Robe? Like, usually there, there is like a up or down button on top of each... I mean, up or down arrow on top of each of the character's head. You get to see like a down red arrow if the, if the specs are not as good um, as what they are currently wearing. And if, you know, if, if this particular item has better specs than what they're wearing, it has like a green arrow and stuff. Oh, so it's not for anybody here, is what you're saying. I see. This one seems good. I'm gonna get one. That goes down though. Do I want this? I got Shadow. We just got Shadow. We got Shadow and, and we and we brought him in Tamas. He's now resting in the bed. I'm just taking a look around um, the the area of the masa or whatever it's called. More conditions? Oh no! What are the conditions? Oh, uh, this seems good, but I kind of like. I want. I want her. It boosts up magic defense, though. But I kind of want her defense up because. She has one of the lowest defense. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, Sa Sabin has very low defense. That's actually very. Worrying. <gasps> Thunder shield? What? Yes. Just keep playing me and check him on him later on. Okay. You don't need defense if you can one turn kill. I don't know if I can one turn kill though. Da Vinci? Da Vinci? It's Da Vinci? <laughs> da Vinci! <laughs> Viper darts. No. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's go. That was some funny shit, guys. The Da Vinci brothers. Pretty funny shit. Okay, I. Uh. Okay, I don't think there's anything else I can do here. I need to get Realm and Struggle first, anyway. Okay. So there's nothing else we can do here. Okay, so uh, we need to get Terra, Luck, uh, Realm, and Strago. So who shall we go get first, guys? And do you know where we could go to get them first? Otherwise, I'll have to go... Wait, they did say go north of here. Okay, you know what? Let's go. Let's go. Ah, ah, that must be it. North of here. Fuck. No! Yeah, like right here. 
There was a big rock, they said. This was the this was the place. Right? Wasn't it the place? Am I did I get it wrong? Wasn't this the place? Oh, I could have sworn something would be would happen. One of the villagers said that um, you could see the big rock, right? Actually, you know what? Let me let me go back to the village and see what they said. Vilm can be found in the in in the Auser's house near the opera house. Okay. Yeah, this is what it is, but I don't know what it does do. Cutlin. Are you for real? Why can't I land? There. You need struggle for that island. Oh, is that it? Oh man. So this is the Masa and um what's his name? Shadow is in here. Da -da -da. Shadow is in here. And I need Realm to get the struggle. Fuck! So we need uh, um, struggle and Realm. Okay. Where was the dude? Yeah, he. If you're looking for that man who was dressed all in black, he already left. He said he was going to the. Wait, Shadow went to the Colosseum? But he was injured! Yeah, it was just Abbott's rock and that's it. Why, why, why is the dude doing useless shit? I, c I can't believe he left. Fucking can't believe he left. Where the fuck is the Colosseum? <laughs> but you know what? Colosseum sounds dangerous for now, so we're not gonna go to the Colosseum. Let's try to go to this Auser's Auser's place thingy. That is the place where, yeah. Let's try to go to the. Where is this place again? The Opera House. Let's go there. Dude wanted to whoop some ass. Yeah, he he totally wanted to whoop some ass. Okay, nothing special about it. Oh, I forgot to talk to you. After the cataclysm, I woke to find myself all alone in Doma Castle. When I tried to sleep there, monsters came for me in my dreams. Oh, it still frightens me to think about it. Okay, that's it. Fine. Yeah, let's go to... Colosseum? Where's the Colosseum? Let's try to find the Colosseum, okay, guys? I have a map in front of me. Let's see. Uh, Colosseum? Oh, fuck. Where am I? Mm, well, let's get into the uh, airship first. Stop trying shit at me. Oh, I'm all the way down there. Colosseum is all the way on the top. The topmost city of the left. Oh, fuck me. How do I do that? There we go. There we go. It should be here. There we go, guys. <laughs> the map loops. Yes, it does. How are you enjoying the game so far, Bill? The game is great. I love I love Final Fantasy VI. It's a great game. How are you doing, Diver? How are you doing? Coliseum! 
the more valuable the item you wager, the better the price will be if you win. Okay. This is the Dragon's Neck Coliseum. Champions from all over the world come here to fight for the prizes and the glory. This is the... Okay. Thank you. What about you? Oh no, it's Ultras! Guys, you remember Ultras? The comic relief? Me, the great and noble Ultras, reduced to working as a receptionist in the sticky car. <laughs> oh yeah, you better not bet any cheap crap on Mr. Typhoon. Or Mr. Typhoon will have to come and teach you a lesson. Okay, who's Mr. Typhoon? All battles in the Colosseum are one and one auto battles. Okay, what's an auto battle? I'm an Imperial soldier. Talk to the emp- Wait, what? I passed along a secret to that friend of yours with the bandana. Talk to the Emperor twice. It's a hint to finding the place where Emperor Gestal hid some legendary treasure. No idea what it means. If you bet the weapon you got in his cave, he'll fight you. Care to fight in the Colosseum? So, how do I get? Um. Finally, the whole world is at war. I fulfilled my lifelong ambition of building a Colosseum. Nice. Um, but Kafka success. Toughest fighters from all over the world come here to compete. Okay. There's a guy who fights here dressed in black, all in black, and they say he's looking for a blade called Ichikeki. I have it. Oh, that is why I can't I can't equip the Ichikeki. I'm gonna make a killing here. Okay, so I gotta bet the Ichikeki, and then uh, we can. Okay, I see. Okay, let's go bet the Ichikeki. And then fight Shadow. Ichigeki! And then we'll take our... Actually, should, should we take a 5 minute break first before we do this? Yeah, I feel like we should. Let's take a 5 minute break first before we do this. Okay, let's take a 5 minute break first. Yes, you bet the Ichigo no. <laughs> okay, let's take a five minutes break first before we um, do this uh, portion for um, for Shadow and get him to join us. Okay, everybody. Um, you like the gem? I like the gem too. The gem's great. Okay, uh, we're gonna go take a short five minute break, everybody. Um, go get some snacks, go get some drinks. Um, how are you doing, D Green? I ripped the halaj hole, my favorite pants are No! Guys, could we get F's in the chat and also hearts in the chat for D Green? Also, good night, diver. Have a good sleep. Okay, let's go get some snacks, go get some drinks, stretch your arms and legs, do some push ups, sit ups, go get buff. I'll see you guys in five minutes, okay? Be right back in five minutes!
am back. Okay. Um, let's continue. I have matcha poke next to me, so we can we can eat that. In a second. Okay. I'm good. It seems like an imposter has been masquerading as me recently. Don't be tricked. You're not Shadow. Oh, this is the dude who... Oh, so this is the dude whom Shadow is... Wait. This is not Shadow though. For real. This is a different man. Okay. Who looks like Shadow. Let's fight in the Colosseum. Um, we will rage Ichigeki. Okay, where's Ichigeki? Ichigeki, Ichigeki! The music in this game is great. I love the music in this game. Ooh, this one's good. Why am I not? Why didn't I wear it? Why didn't I get this? Why didn't I put this on? What's the difference between Tintinabulum and an Angel Ring? Because Angel Ring is exactly the same, right? It recovers some HP um, throughout. Oh, so this one recovers HP with each step? This is even better than the Angel Ring. Is that it? I think? I'm not sure. There we go. Ichigeki. I'ma wage this. Who should I use, guys? You know what? I'ma use Edgar. Sabin would be overkill. I'ma use Edgar. Let's do this. Oh no. Oh fuck! Am I gonna die? I can't do anything. This is just like an auto battle. <coughs> so I guess the Colosseum, this is what it means by auto battle. I, 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 can't, I can't do anything. So the Colosseum matches are all auto battle. Interesting. Oh no, he can't spot. Uh, no, don't poison Shadow. The fuck? So we just sit back, relax and watch the show, guys. Oh God. Oh God. Edgar Chainsaw, he says. How much- wait, wait, wait. How much life does Shadow have? Because Shadow should have been dead by now. Either Shadow has like 10- oh, there we go. Shadow has massive amount of life. Like at least 6,000. More than 6,000. Almost like 10,000 life or something. Yeah, he's a tank ninja. Yay! Shadow! Join our party again, please! There we go. He's joining- he's joining us, guys. Yay! Yeah, he's aboard the ship. Nice! Okay. Now we gotta go. 
to the opera opera house where was the opera house guys do you guys remember okay i think i know um it is south of here just directly south in the south in the bottom uh, left quadrant i'm just fly straight i should reach it there 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 you go I think that's the opera house. I think so. Yeah, na, 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 na. yeah! The music here is great too. This is no good, no good at all. Please go talk to the impresario. Okay. Oh, okay. Where is he? Is that you? Oh dear, there's a dra uh -huh? dragon. Dragon? Oh, fuck! I'm supposed to fight a dragon? I'm supposed to fight a dragon. What? Uh. Okay, let's let's are, are we are we not allowed to go on stage? Oh wait, then how are we gonna fight the dragon? I, I don't know how to fight the dragon. I don't know what. Or is this the way? <gasps> Look, it's a baby dragon! Guys, it's a cute baby dragon. All the dragons are tough. So should I be fighting the dragon right now? I can drop a 4 ton weight on the dragon. I can. I, there's a 4 ton weight over here. Like right there. I can drop it on the dragon. All dragons are optional. <laughs> drop it! Why can't I drop it? Oh, come on! I can't drop this this thing. That's annoying. I thought I could. I guess I can't. <laughs> Or is there a way to do this? No. Why is there a four ton weight? And it doesn't let you use it. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't use it. Okay, but how do I get to the actual fight? With my superpowers, duh! I have magic, don't I? <laughs> I have magic, guys. Of course, I'm going, I'm going to be able to to lift like a four ton weight. 
I, I can't interact with the beam. So there has to be another way in. So I'm gonna try this way in. Don't touch the wrong switch or you'll be in for a nasty surprise. Oh no! Which switch is it? Guys! Shit! Oh fuck! Oh no! I'm fighting the dragon! Okay. Let's try to fight the dragon and see what happens. It's a T-Rex Earth Dragon! What? I mean, I'm a fan of this game. This game's great. Damn it! Oh shit! Edgar's dead! Fuck! No! We're all dead! <laughs> oh no! Oh fuck! Okay, it's just something and oh fuck me! Oh no! Okay, 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 okay. I, I, I got, I got, I got, I got a plan. I have a plan, guys. Okay, I have a plan. Cosmics, how are you doing? Oh fuck, 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 fuck! No! Why is Cyan excellent on this? You know what? Cyan can take this on by himself. Cyan can take this on by himself. I have faith in Cyan. Cyan, you got this! Dragon power, do it! Wait, why zero? I don't understand the zero thing. Shit, he's earthquaking again. It's okay, Cyan has full life. Cyan's gonna rege regain health. Cyan, regain health! Cyan? No! Cyan! Oh, fuck. One more time. <sighs> okay, we got this. Okay, let's see what happens. Maybe that would get the 4 ton weight on the dragon. You know, does that get the 4 ton weight on the dragon? I actually don't know. I mean, why would they, they tempt you with a 4 ton weight? Okay. Oh shit, he died. Edgar died so fucking hard. How much life does this motherfucker have? Fuck, 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 fuck. Edgar's dead again. Oh shit. No!
How much life does this stupid dragon have? I need to level up someone. I can't, I can't, I can't do this, dude. I can't, I can't. Okay, you know what? You know, you know what? Okay, what if I do the switch, okay? And then... I go to the other side to see if the fortune weight has gone. Maybe... That actually switches the fortune weight and drops it on the, on the... On the dragon. Because I refuse to believe... What's the trick? I refuse to believe the fortune weight is just there for fun. You may not need to grind. What? what what's the trick? Float, dodge, earth. All earth attack. How do you do that? Why is the stupid fortune weight still here? I feel like there's something here with this weight. I refuse to believe that there's nothing there. Cooler! Come on, Natia! Thank you for the follow. Float spell on everyone so you get no damage from Quake. <gasps> do I have a float spell? Wait. Wait. How do I. Okay, let me see. Uh. So does he have floats? Oh, he does! No, but he, he hasn't learned it yet. What about Sabin? Does Sabin have float? Sabin has float! Okay, Sabin has float. What about Celeste? Does Celeste have float? Celeste does not have float. Okay. Okay, let's try this. It lasts a while, so you should be... Okay, let's try this. Let's try this. So cast float on all my, my, my whole party. Do it before the fight. Hmm. Like just before you enter the arena is what you're saying. Okay. It feels like a cheat. This feels like a cheat. It's okay. Anything to... to beat a t-rex it's all good okay okay i'm gonna do this first target all yay they're floating oh my god to do this. Let's do this. Motherfucker, you can't get me. Let's do this. Look at me floating! <laughs> I am too stunk right now, motherfucker! You did! He's dead. He's dead. He's dead! So totally fucking dead. And Selex is on magic duty. Shit, did I miss? No, there we go. You think this is the intended way to fight this dragon? Now, well, now we know. Now we know, guys. Now we know. Are we touching the floor? Shit!
Where's my float? Where's my float? Float! God damn it, where is float? There. No! Who is this? Oh, fuck me! Dead. Yeah, now, now I know how to do the fight. Okay. Yeah, lots of fights are very hard unless you use tricks. Okay, okay, okay. I know how to do this, but... I need to maintain... Um, cure... Okay, so what... What I need to do is constantly cure, even though I don't need it, just constantly fucking cure. So Celeste is on cure duty the whole entire time. And make sure at least Edgar has it too if Sabin gets down. So what what Esper do you need to have equipped to get um to get float? Which Esper's power is, is float? Do you guys know? You forgot that? Okay, I'm gonna, we'll just take a look. Okay, so this is Ramo. It's not Ramo. It's not Kirin. Is it Siren? No. It's Kate. It's Kate Sith. Edgar is almost done with Kate Sith. He's eighty-eight percent on Kate Sith. Fuck. 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 Uh, you know what? You know what? You know what? Let's go out. Um, let's go to the surrounding areas and fight a little bit, just to get Edgar to know Float as well as Sabin. So like, th there are multiple people who know this uh, particular move. And then we'll come back and fight the stupid dragon. I'm I I need to fight this dragon. This dragon's going down. I mean, he's not technically not a dragon. He is a T-Rex, right? So, we're gonna do that, guys. Okay, that's our strat now. That's our strats. I love this game. This game is great. Okay. There we go. The city north of here has realm. Oh, that's where realm is at. What are those things? They look like they look like ant insects. And the other one, the the, the center demon looks like a frog, like an overgrown frog. Drake. Okay. What's the difference between a worm, wyvern, drake, and dragon? What's the difference, guys? Wyverns are arms like wings as wings and like bats. Okay. Okay, so dragons are like most often is okay, wait, wait, wait. Shit. Shit. Give me a second. Okay, four legs and two wings. Okay, that's that's a dragon. Wyvern has come to mean a dragon 
or dragon-like creature with only two legs and wings. Oh, those types. I think I know what you're, you're, you're saying. Drake, meanwhile, has come to mean a wingless European dragon. Oh. The wings, but with only arms. Those are wyverns. Size. <laughs> Grizzly's like, size? <laughs> oh, come on. Edgar still hasn't learned it yet. Come on, Edgar. Come on, Edgar. You're this close to finishing up Kate Sith. Come on. Okay. You know what? Let's go. Let's go to the north and try to find um Realm in the meantime. We can fight some enemies. Wyvern uses wings like arms like a bat. Mm-hmm. And the dragons have like four legs. And two wings. Worms, I think, close to the eastern depiction of dragons. So what's the difference between a worm and a and a drake? Shit. Shit. That was my bed. Oh no, she's stone. Fuck. That was my bed. Worm have bat like winds and Drake have no wings. Cosmos! <gasps> Sparrow! How are you doing? Yeah, Sabin's my favorite. I like Sabin. The music in, in the Auser's house is so good when getting around back. Really? I can't wait. How are you doing, Sparrow? How are you doing? Fucking fight this. Praying Mantis thing. Thank you for the follow, Grizzly. Welcome, fool. Hey streamer, you getting bodied? I know. I'll kill this thing. Don't worry, he's dead. The worm is just a big snake. Ah. Okay. So worm and Drake. So. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me. Oh shit. So worm worm is a snake like uh serpent like uh um dragon. And Drake is basically a Jagras. Am I right? Is Drake a, a Jagras? Is that it? Ah oh, fuck me! I can just use this! The Skyrim dragon is technically wyverns, I believe. Spyro is a dragon, obviously. Okay. Jagras is a is a drake. Is that right? Let's get realm. Do you guys know what a Jagras is? Monster Hunter uh, players? Dude, stop running away from me! 
Alistair found a skilled young artist and brought her back to his mansion. <gasps> Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is the mansion? He never played Monster Hunter. Is the northmost house? D do you guys not know Jagras? Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna show you what a Jagras is. So this is a Jagras. Uh, give me a second. I'm gonna show you. So this is a Jagras. So a Jagras is a Drake. Am I right? This thing. Is that a Drake? Because it's wingless. Okay. The worm is like a... Like a snake-like kind of thing. Okay, I got it. And the wyvern only has like two two arms. And um, its arms are like... Uh, are, are, its arms are in the wings. Like a bat. And the dragon has four legs, exactly like the Jagras, but with two huge ass wings. At least two wings. Right? Okay. So that's that's the differences. Great to know, guys. Great to know. Okay. <laughs> I learned something today. Nice. Okay, let's do this. I read Auser's diary the last time I was in this house. I mean, it was just lying there. What else was I supposed to do? Okay, what about you? Art that evokes a sense of the world slide into ruin is all the rage these days. Okay. This is the auction house. What are you guys auctioning? You auctioning girls? Shame on you! Okay, so we need to go to the northern part of town, which is here. There's a chance to get two espers here. <gasps> How do I get the two espers? Do I buy them? In the auction? Now we're gonna have to auction stuff, guys. We're gonna have to go to the auction and we're gonna have to play the auction thing. Give me a second, guys. We, we need we need the espers. Can I talk to these guys? I can't. Can I talk to you, sir? Sir? You're obviously not from around here. Straighten your back. Don't slump so much, okay? I, I, wanna, I wanna buy some espers. Dudes? Hello? Espers? Hello? Okay, there. Frustrating? Let's see. A golem magicite. How do I bid? Oh, fuck you! Yes! We got this for 20,000. Fuck me. Okay, let's get another one. That's it? No, I want the other one! Okay, there we go. Let's see what's it. A hero's ring. What is is a hero's ring good, guys? Pass. Okay. No! Oh, okay. Good. Thank God. I accidentally pressed bit. Fuck me.
Nope, don't bid. Okay. I want to get the the other the other magicite. Some of these you get for free, and some are cheaper in stores. Can I get the espers in stores? How are you doing, Dango Sage? Is there no way for me to get the espers otherwise? Espers only here? Fuck. <gasps> this is the other one! Zona Seek! Okay. So we gotta get this, right? So no matter... What? We gotta... We gotta get this. Why am I lucky? This is literally the third time I'm playing... I don't understand. Is it really hard to get these usually? Yay, got it! Really? I guess I'm lucky. <laughs> we got both, guys. I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see. Uh, let's look at the abilities and the espers. So Edgar is done with the uh, Kate Sith. So let's get him to learn. What does Gollum do? Protects the part. <gasps> what does Zona Seeker do? Increases magic. How come? How how come Edgar already has Zona Seeker? I'll get him to learn this. Okay, um, he's done with this, so... Oh, shit. Is there nothing? Oh! Okay, I'll get Sabin to learn Gollum, then. And Edgar can learn something else for in, in the meantime. Like, he, he almost has everything except for Phantom and Gollum, so I'm just gonna put Phantom on for him. Um, Celeste needs to learn Kate Sith. Um, Cyan can learn Kirin. Uh, Shadow can learn. What does Zona Seeker do? There, he can do Zona Seeker. Um, Gao can learn Seraph. Um, Setzer can learn. Ifrit! Shit, was he learning Unicorn before? Yeah, okay. Yeah, Sabin al almost knows everything already. Many ways to learn the spells. Yes, Dusk, how are you doing? Edgar is cool like that. Edgar is great. Edgar and Sabin. Uh, my favorite is Sabin though. Okay, let's go up to the northernmost house, guys. We, we did great. Let's get back realm. And then let's go fight that. Kick that earth dragon's ass. Stay away. Huh? Huh? Wait, what? Huh? You saw that, right? You saw- you saw that. That was just... I slid down the stairs. This is Owser's diary. Yes. Just spent a small fortune on a new painting, the first in some time. It's quite a large one, so I won't be able to put it on the first floor with the others. Must think about where to display it. Read the next page. An artist came from Zozo today. Showed me his work. What a waste of time. Read the next page. Lamp on the stairwell was broken, so I bought a new one at the item shop. Twas a tad pricey, but now everything's all bright and cheery with just a flip of the switch. Okay. Invited an artist here from Kolingin, but his skills weren't quite up to par. Guess it's asking too much to expect a painter to have more talent than a wet sponge. <laughs> oh god, the burn. I figured Locker would be your favorite. Not my favorite, Sabin. Locker has a lot of drama, which is which is fun. 
But my favorite Sabin. How you doing, Dusk? Next page. Um, been feeling strange lately. Seems to have come on since I had that picture painted. Wait, what? Uh huh. Been hearing things too. Strange sounds. They seem to be coming from the cellar. Oh, so we need to go down to the cellar, guys. How do we get to the cellar? Hmm. Suspicious. What do you mean, stay away? How the fuck am I supposed to go if I stay away? Where's the lamp? Oh, that was my bed. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> These were what the paintings were all about. I remember coming here before and I was wondering why, why there were so many suit of armor. Okay, how about this? Picture of a lovely... Wait, what? what? Why am I being attacked by eyeshadow, guys? Why am I being attacked by eyeshadow? Oh, the things realm paints to. Oh, I didn't know that because I never, I never, I never played with her. I mean, I never played with her uh, character on my team, so I don't know. Fuck you! I'm a dragon your ass. Let's see what happens now. Yeah, the painting kit is here. Yeah, she's dead. Okay. Oh shit! What? Oh, they did. Okay. You love this place? Yeah, this the song is great. I obtained a Moogle suit! Ah, oh, that's adorable! What the fuck? What? I think I'm gonna get lost. Guys, I think I'm lost. Oh no, it's a back attack. I prefer bell singing. Aw, that's really sweet. <laughs> <laughs> The, the music is great. I agree with you, Grizzly. The music for this place is great. Okay, so it's not this one. So it's definitely this middle room. Wait, what? Huh? Wait, I'm I'm confused now.
It's a bit of a puzzle, okay. And it did. Super ball. What the fuck is a super ball, guys? Okay, so so here. No. So the first two doors bring me bring me there. So I can't go through the first two doors. So I had to go through the one on the left. Oh fuck me! Can can I just run? Can, can we just run, please? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I had to go through the one on the... Or, I can just do this. I obtained a lich ring! No, fuck! Let's just run. Oh no, is Cyan blind? How do I how do I uh, cure Cyan of blindness? There we go. Okay. Is there no way for me to? Oh, motherfucker! I can't believe this. No. I'm running away. I don't want to waste time. Okay. Um. Ooh, I got some money. Money, money, money. Okay, you know what? You guys are pissing me off. Okay, you guys are really fucking pissing me off. I am kicking people's asses. She's dead. Great. I got a potion! Nice. I'm Master Monk! Nice. What the fuck is Soul Spiral? Right, left, up, down. I've never seen Soul Spiral before. Woo! Wait, did I kill Sabine? What did I do to Sabine? Wait, what the soul? What the soul? I don't understand. I'm trying not to lose killers. Oh, Sabin died. That move. Wow, that move is horrid. I will never use that move ever again. Oh, fuck.
Can I use a tent? I can't. Is there any way for me to use... Hmm. Is it? Hmm. Okay, just heal him. Okay. Oh, fucking hell. I didn't realize the soul the solo tech. That's actually bad. I will never use the solo tech then. Now that I know the solo tech just completely kills him, I'll never use it unless it's like a last ditch effort um to kind of like um beat the boss, but I I, I will try my best never to use it. She's dead. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. I got a gold needle. Uh, give me a second. Um, someone's done with the espers. Yeah. Um, Edgar is done with the espers. Oh no! Is oh okay. Sabin's also done with the espers. So I can make Edgar learn this. Sabin doesn't need to learn anything else because he knows everything. Um, Edgar can learn the Golem because he knows everything else. Um, Celeste already knows Kate Sif, so she can learn. What does this do? Yeah, let's make her. Oh shit! You know what? She she needs to learn this more than um, Shadow. So let's get her to learn this. Uh, okay, he's done with that, so he can learn Kate Sith then. Um, he he can learn Ifrit. Why not? Okay, we're good. If they have the spells learned, just equip for the summon effects. What do you mean? <gasps> hey! Isn't that... That looks sus, guys. Oh, fuck. What is this?! Okay, he's dead. When in magic casting that press up to summon an Esper. I've never done this. I've never summoned an Esper. I could guess, but I don't want to get banned. <laughs> Have I summoned it? I can't remember. Is it just like one time by accident or something? <gasps> Save point! No, I thought you how and you did it. Oh, okay. I, why can't I remember? Was this was this some time ago? Okay, no wonder. Oh shit! No! I gotta go back all the way. There. I got. I gotta go back all the way here. 
Okay, I, I don't want to fight these guys. Fuck. Run, 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 run. Fuck. Fuck you. Okay, let me turn off the... This is annoying. Okay. Because I wanna try to get through this. How do I go through though? Uh. Hmm. Okay, so it's not this door, but it's this door. There we go. Who's this? How was it? Please help the painting! Oh, there's a monster possessing my prized goddess painting. Oh no. It hides inside the painting? Oh, that's Realm! Guys, okay, we need to save Realm. You mustn't attack the picture of the goddess. It only makes matters worse. Okay. <laughs> try to go. Try to get between me and my prize, will you? This painting's the best I've had in a long time. Nobody's gonna deny this treat. Odi squids, thank you for the raid. Thank you, squid raid. How are you doing? Welcome Raiders! Hello Ineko, hello Odi, hello Ice Cube Sunday! How are you guys doing? Thank you for the raid guys, thank you! How are you? Did you have a great stream? What were you... What did you play? Oh fuck. Guys, this is an unsaiso picture! Say so, picture. It's been a while. How are you doing, Ineko? How are you doing, Odi? Had a lovely monster on the stream today. Nice. I am glad you had a fantastic monster. Ow! Oh, fuck! Why is there something gross? Sorry, I'm in the middle of a fight right now. Give me a second. Welcome, foolish mortals. How are you? I hope you're doing fantastic. It turned say so for me, thank god. Oh god. Okay. No! It's still not dead. Fuck. As you can see, we're playing Final Fantasy Seven, uh, Six. Sorry, Final Fantasy Six. Thank you. It looks like it is a fight. Uh, I don't know if it's a big fight, but it's definitely a fight to get one of the characters back. We're playing Final Fantasy Six for the first time. I've never played it. This is my first time playing it. It's it's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying myself. Um, I hope you enjoyed Monster Hunter. I love Monster Hunter. It's a very fun game. I suck at it, but I love Monster Hunter. What is Eclipse? What does Eclipse do? And welcome Raiders. I would give you a song choice, but my voice is kinda dead. A total eclipse of the heart. <laughs> <laughs> no, my, my I hate that monster. That's the the monster I hate the most. He's still alive? How much health does this motherfucker have? Oh, he turned back into unsay so girl. Guys, don't look. Don't look. Guys, don't look. Don't look! Dead King! How are you doing, Dead King? Why why is it still alive? Do you wanna take the goddess? What do you mean? Am I not supposed to attack the goddess? Is that it? 
Oh wait, am I not supposed to attack the goddess? Oh shit! So... Oh, I'm not supposed to attack when it's unsafe so mode? Raiders, thank you so much for, 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 for coming by. I appreciate you. Oh, fuck. What am I supposed to do now? What? What do I do? Heal up while waiting? Oh shit! And also, guys, um, Odie, if you need to go to sleep, please do. If you need to go rest, please do. <gasps> we did it! <laughs> we saved the goddess painting! We did it, guys! Yay! Again, thank you for the raid, Odie! <laughs> and welcome, Raiders! Raiders came into a win. That's good. A mimic can take on the appearance of another creature, but it's still essentially itself. A shapeshifter actually becomes a different creature. I see. You can relax now. The monster's not gonna be not gonna be possessing any more paintings. Nice. Oh, thank you. That picture's worth more to me than my own life. Wow. Why? Is that a picture of your wife? I guess I should start at the beginning. I've been looking at this lovely stone I bought at the auction house. All of a sudden, I was overcome with desire for- Ew! I had a few different artists try to paint. <laughs> this dude! <laughs> oh god. But none of them really gave me what I was looking for. It was right around the time that I heard about Little Realm and I bought her brought her straight here and set her to work but then the thing came along and possessed her painting and it must have been lured here by the stone oh god where's the stone now the stone it's over in the bookcase where's the stone now this is a magic site i sure don't need it anymore if you want it you can have it oh <gasps> We just got the La Lakshmi um, Magicite. Don't you worry, I'll be back to finish this painting. Nice! So we got another Esper. What the fuck? We got three? What does what is what does this one do? Restores each other. Oh! Because Edgar doesn't have anything... Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. Oh shit, he can't learn this one yet. It's fine. This one's really good. Um, Cyan! Still learning Kate Sith. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep him there. Uh, she can learn! There. Okay. There we go. Check and see what abilities it has. Yes, I just did. So, um, as for this particular Esper, um, it has a leering embrace. It restores um, HP to all allies. That's actually pretty good. You're gonna grab a lurk and some foods. Yes, please do. Guys, can we all say thank you for the raid and also bye to um, OD, please? Thank you again. I hope you have I hope you have some good foods. Yummy food to eat. 
Wait, is she officially our in our party already? Or do I need to get her to join my party? Okay. No, I mean spells. Oh. How do we check the spells? So it's cure, cura, curaga. Curaga. Um, she has curaga, the best form of cure. She's with me now? Okay. You put Realm in your group and take her to the Tower of Phonetics, something good will happen. What is the Tower of Phonetics? I want to fight the dragon first. I want to fight the dragon first. I want to fight the T-Rex. You guys remember the T-Rex, right? We need to fight the T-Rex first. Wait. How do we get down to the T-Rex again? I won't rest until the T-Rex is defeated. I need to save the opera house. We need to save music and Broadway! And opera! Okay, let's do this. Yeah, I should save. You're right. Let me save. Yay! Now let's go into the opera house and kick that T Rex's ass. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, we're gonna float just before we fight that dragon. Let's do this. Okay. <coughs> no! Fuck. Hopefully we get it this time, guys. Fifty G's. Oh fuck! Wait, does she have float? Yes, she does. Oh, motherfucker. He's dead! Yeah. 
We fought him and we killed him! Oh my god! There's an Esper that will float your entire party on summon, but the name is different in this version. I see. We did it, guys. We did it. Seven dragons remaining. Oh, fuck. I need to defeat seven dragons? Looks like you saved the day. <gasps> there was one in that cave that we saw that the other time, right? That purple, cute purple dragon. Okay, great. We did it, guys. Fantastic. So let's use the <laughs> tint. Dun dun! Yay! Where to next, everybody? Where to next? Um, should we go back to that? Should we go try to get sa sa sa? What's his name? Strago. How do I go to the... Hmm... How do I go to the... How, how do I go back into the ship, guys? Do y'all remember? Oh, yeah. This was it. Okay. So... I vote we stop and get ice cream. <laughs> Do it. There's a tower just east of the center map. Take realm there. Uh, so take realm there. Okay, I'll swap up cyan for, for realm. Uh, hi, realm! She's cute. Um Also equip realm with the Mughal suit. She's strong caster. Oh okay. We'll do that. Done. Let's do some equip e equipping and everything while we're here. Oh shit, I need to equip everything on her. Okay, I guess the healing rod is the best rod for her? Okay, head... Uh, best will be... I guess this? I have the behemoth suit though. I give her give her a Mughal suit. Hmm. Up to I know, but I love doing it this way. I know. Panzer Soul tells me the same thing every single fucking time. <laughs> Who can I equip the Behemoth uh, armor to? It doesn't look like these guys get the Behemoth armor. Yeah, well. <gasps> Falling Gore! Thank you for the lurk! I don't know, I like doing this. I just like it for some reason, I just like this. Okay, <sighs> let's do this. Um, so, where are we gotta go again? Uh, we need to go to... The tower just east of the center of the map. Where is that? East of the center of the map. So, are you talking about this area? Is 
Is this the one? Yeah, right there? Okay. Why can't I go in? Do I need to land this thing right in the center? Oh, fuck off! There we go. Let's land. It's a bit finicky. There we go. Why? What? What? This is a cult. Listen here, you stubborn old bag of bones. Snap out of it! Is that Strago? <laughs> <laughs> he joined the cult. <laughs> the old Ojiza joined the cult. Oh god, that's hilarious. Realm, Realm! Is it really you, dear? You're alive? That's so funny. That's so funny. Oh, Jason! Grandpa, you idiot! What were you thinking? Oh, Realm. I was sure you were... dead. Did you really think I was gonna check out before you, you old geese bag? <laughs> They're cute. I like these two. Foul mouth as ever, I see. Bless your heart. Come on, Grandpa. You're coming along with us. That's so cute. And that was it. And he said bye-bye to the cult. I'm raring to go. Can't leave everything up to you, whippersnappers, can I? Oh. That's very cute. So now the only other people we have not got is Locke and Terra. What do these guys do? They don't do anything. No use talking to them. They've given their souls over to Kefka. All they do now is shuffle about and pray to him. They oh fuck. For one hundred thousand gil, I'll tell you where you can find some hidden treasure. Do do, is this worth it? Do not climb this tower until you learn life three. Okay, I do not. No. The tower is home to the cult of Kefka. Apparently, they're supposedly. There's supposed to be priceless treasure up in the highest level. But you can only use magic inside, so you'll never make it to the top without strong spells. Okay. Bye! What should we do next, guys? I need to get Lock and Terra. Do you, a, any ideas on where I can find Lock and Terra? Which one should we get first? Should we get uh, Terra or Lock first? After we get Terra and Lock, I think the best thing to do would be to um, just go visit every town. Just to make sure that we haven't forgotten anything. Then we can go fight the Colosseum and we can go fight um this particular tower once we've like leveled up and then we can go to vector and uh beat kafka i'm guessing that will be the best um the 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 best progression for this there is at a house due east where is that there isn't a town directly to the right of me. Okay. So here. No. Wrong direction. Sorry, guys. This one. I thought we have to come back here later, like 10 weeks ago. <laughs> Moblitz! I can't, I can't, I can't, I couldn't, I couldn't remember. Rob, thank you for the raid! 
To get locked, you need three parties to go. So gather friends and equipment first. Okay, so we'll do that. How are you doing, Rod? Thank you for the raid, Rod. Thank you. How was your stream, Rod? How was your stream? Let me give you a shout out. There you go. How was your stream, Rod? Thank you for the raid. How are you doing? It's a boss raid. How are you doing, Rod? Oh, look, they're puppies. Woof. Woof. Woof, 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 woof. Woof. Now, where can Tara be? Where, oh, where is Tara? Oh, where, oh, where can she be? Can you shoot them like an MGS? No. I'm not gonna shoot these puppies. The MGS ones were annoying. <gasps> I got an elixir! The MGS ones... By the way, yesterday, I'm not sure if you guys remember, when we were playing MGS, um, our boyfriend, um, Otakon, was, um, he, he gave us some ketchup, but along with some ketchup, he also gave us a handkerchief of um, Sniper Wolf. So I'm pretty sure that if you have that handkerchief, um, because he said that he was handling the dog, so I'm pretty sure... And the dogs are, are, are sniper wolves, right? So I'm pretty sure if you have that handkerchief, the dogs won't attack you anymore. I think. Because otherwise, what's the, what's the point of having that handkerchief? Did you get Mo Moog yet? What's Moog? What is Umaro and what's Moog? It was okay. I finished the game, but unfortunately, my friendly want to go to the doctor. Impossible for... Okay, want me to go to Dr. Impossible for a reason. Okay, so, um, Rod, I hope everything is okay. Here, here are some um, hearts. I hope everything is okay with you, Rod. Go to the doctor. Um, get things checked up. I hope everything is okay. Okay, Rod? Here you go. <gasps> You're gonna have to fight your way in here. We can fight too, you know. Wait! Tara! Oh, how I missed you, Tara. Mog is a Moogle and he has an item that turns off random encounters and dungeons. Oh, nice. Although you don't really need that, right? Because if you have the... the I mean, it turned off encounters and we don't have random encounters on in dungeons anymore. Mama! Wait, she's a mom now? Are these people your friends? Yes, they're mama's friends. I'm so glad to see you're safe. I wanted to see you again. Terry, come with us. There's no saving this world unless we de defeat Kafka once and for all. Yeah, Ooh is more useful in the original game without the boost option. You're right. Oh no, she's got all these children to take care of now. Wait, why do you mean you can't fight anymore? The very day with the world collapsed, Kafka turned his light of judgment on this village. The adults, these kids, parents, they all died trying to protect their children. Oh no, all of them died? Except for the kids? Oh man. Oh man. No! It aimed right at us. Protect the kids! Oh no. Oh no. No! The kid. Oh god! The mom and dad fell into the chasm of darkness. Fuck! No. Why? This is a village of children. They clung to me from the moment I. This is sad. Why is it gotta be so sad? Why, why, why did you do this to me? No. We needed me. No. Oh no. You can't take terror from us, Dwayne says. <sighs> no. Dwayne! 
Please forgive him. It's just if you lose Terra, we lose the only thing that's holding this village together. Oh no. The Mughal charm can make it so that you can loot places you're not ready for. And will make the Tower of Fanatics a breeze unless you want to fight 100 floors. Oh. Yeah. No. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get that Mughal charm. I don't know why these kids need me. No. No. Because she, she's a symbol of hope. <sighs> And it's not like there's anything forcing me to protect them. It's the strangest feeling. I got a feeling. Sorry, inappropriate. <laughs> that was an inappropriate song. <laughs> that was an inappropriate song for this juncture. But once that feeling took root inside of me, I lost the strength to keep on fighting. Oh no. Oh no. I feel like I'm on the verge of understanding something important. It's hard to describe, but the harder I look for the answer, the more I lose my strength to fight. This night was not a good night. <laughs> this night was not a good night. This night was not a good, good night. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh man. How are we gonna get her back? Terra is the glue that holds this village together. Without her, we are somehow... With her here, we are somehow able to keep going. There has to be something we can do, guys. Um, this sucks. Terra's how mom... Oh, so Dwayne and Katrina are the kids too. Um, they're just older kids. I see. I see. We're okay because we got... Oh, no. We call Terra mama. Oh, no. Wait! You saw Dwayne and Katrina kissing? Dwayne and Katrina under a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. The soldier in our village who was hurt went to sleep and didn't wake up. Oh no! Who? You're not gonna take mama. Wh who's the soldier? The light took everyone. Everyone. Mom, dead. Oh no. D did I talk to everybody already? What about you, kid? You're the last one, I think. Okay. Oh man. Guys, this is not good. This is not good. Well, we, we'll, we'll go out and see what happens. Maybe trigger something. Yeah, that's what I thought, Grizzly. There might be something. Humbaba's coming! Wait, wait what? Huh? Who's Humbaba? What the fuck is Humbaba? Fuck is Humbaba, guys? Okay. Oh shit, it looks gross. Din, 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 din. Okay, she's in a trance state now. So fuck you! Blizzard your ass! Oh, fuck you. Zero? Spelling gore is like do better. Kiwi, okay. How are you doing, Kiwi? Let's kill it with fire. See, fire works. Zero!
fuck. But she will die. How do I poison this motherfucker? How is it zero? Yeah, it looks like he was a forced encounter, you're right. There, wake up! Uh-oh, here it comes! Okay, so now we fight it, for real. Motherfucker, you gonna die! Wait, a Moogle joins us! Motherfucker's dead. Oh shit. Oh, that's Realm because she's in the Moogle suit. That's right. She's in the Moogle suit. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It's one of those unwinnable fight. Oh, fuck. I hope I can... beat this motherfucker though. What do you mean flee? Get back here, humbaba! Oh no. Wow. How are you doing, villain of legend? Oh no. Maybe after a little more time has passed. Oh no. I need to understand what's happening to me. Oh no. I'm sorry I'm staying here. The children you No! Guys, how are we gonna get Terra back? Oh no. Shit. Thanks for scaring Humbaba away. This fell off the chain around his neck. Here, you can have it. Ooh, Fenrir Regicide! Nice! Cool. Let's look at what we can equip. What magic does he have? He is banished. What does banish do? Banish enemies to another dimension? That's cool. What does stop do? Stop the flow of time around the target period. Oh, wow. There's just so much different there's so many different types of magic here. I can't I can't remember what all these magics do. Should afford them kids when you had the <laughs> Teleports the party out of the dungeon. Oh okay, so this is teleport like uh, like in Pokemon. Okay, he's still learning Lakshmi, uh, Lakshmi, Lakshmi. So... Sabin? Uh, maybe Sabin, yeah, Sabin can learn. Sabin... Yeah, Sabin can learn this. There. Okay, what about Celeste? Is it... Celeste... Finished Golem, okay. So she can learn something else now. Mm. Let's get her learn this. Okay, what about you? You know what? I'll 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 let you learn this. Yeah, okay. Let's go out. You need to check in on her again before she joins. Like now? Can I check in on her like now? Or do I have to fly someplace else and then come back? Oh shit, this place is completely... This, this place is completely out of whack. Doggy! Woof! Woof! Woof woof! 
Alright, we're gonna go out and then come back in again. Okay, now we're gonna go back in here. And hopefully, she's okay now. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> Here we go. Wait, where is she? Where is she? Where'd she go? Catherine's gone? Yeah, so is... Catherine ran away because Dwayne wasn't being nice to her? Oh, that was a lover's... That was a lover's uh, tiff. Catherine's gonna have a big... He got her preggers? Guys, Ketrin's preggers! I know, because my mom looked like that before she... Oh. Ketrin's gone. Oh, Ketrin's belly keeps getting bigger and bigger. Okay. It's that kind of game. I see. Dwayne... Okay, I know you saw Dwayne and Ketrin kissing. Okay. Interesting. I don't remember being confused a lot playing Final Fantasy VII. It's okay, there's just a lot of like um, movement in and out, right? You need to go around, talk to lots of people, and just investigate every place. Um, they were, yeah, they were a lot older than I thought. <laughs> okay, so they're not here. Maybe they're here. Hello? Puppy! Puppy! Woof, woof, woof! Where'd the puppy go? Okay, Dwayne. I don't know what to do. Ketrin's pregnant. Okay. Where is Ketrin? Where is she, Dwayne? Where is she? Okay, he, he, he does not know where she is. Nice. Where is she? Maybe she's here. Katrin? Oh, Katrin! Fuck, she's not here. Guys, where is she? You were close? The doggo kind of like disappeared here. Whoa! The doggo disappeared! You're back. I see. So the doggo was supposed to tell you there was a secret entrance here. Ketchin's gonna have a baby. I, I know that, Tara. I'm so happy that I'm gonna have a child. But when I told that to Dwayne, he turned cold all of... Yeah, he was not expecting that shit! Katrin? You dropped a bomb on him! I'm sorry, I just don't know how to handle all of this. Yeah! I acted like an idiot, but everything's okay now, so please come back home with me. She was being a prissy bitch. Okay. Uh oh. Oh no, Humbaba! Okay, looks like we gotta fight Humbaba again, guys. Okay, let's go fight Humbaba again. Oh shit, I shouldn't have attacked. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We'll get through this. We'll get through this.
Wait, was that supposed to happen? Oh, <gasps> that was supposed to happen. What? Why only three? Where's Sabin? Just the way he fight the fight is, okay. Look, I I like Sabin. Sabin's my favorite. I'm not letting this motherfucker go. Okay, I'm gonna use offensive magic now. Still not dead. Yeah, um, Celeste is on healing, healing magic, beauty. He's dead! We would have made bigger, uh, quicker work of this monster if Sabin was here. I'm just, I'm just saying. If Sabin was here, this would have been a snap! It would have been so easy. Yay! We saved everybody! No, it's not another monster. It's Terra! She looks cute in this form. I think she looks like a very cute pink pixie. In this form. I like her like this. <laughs> Like bubblegum pixie. There, see? She recognizes who she is. The little girl recognizes her mom. Yay! All's well that ends well. Here's when Terror learned that these kids should have fended for themselves. Oh. That's true, they need to learn offensive magic. They need to learn to take care of themselves. They can't just keep depending on her. I think I finally understand that feeling's been growing inside me. It must be... Love. Friendship is magic. I learned that from MLP. Me too. <laughs> uh -huh. I have to fight to protect the people I love and to make the world a safe place for new lives. There. Hey, what's she doing? Dwayne, keep Catherine and your baby safe. Children, mama has to go away for a while to make the world a safer place for you to live. But I promise I'll be back as soon as I can. Mama, I'm not gonna cry. Me either. I'll be good, so come back soon. Don't forget, he promised. Okay. Thank you. You all helped me understand what it means to love. I'll fight and I'll make this world a place where life can flourish and children can grow up in peace. Yay, we got Tara! I like Terra. Terra's awesome. -na 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 -na. Yay, we're done with the shit place! Completely dilapidated shit place.
Okay, what about the, the doggos? Can we adopt the dog? Woof! Woof! I guess not. Okay. Yay! This is... I feel like a good place for us to stop. Go solid snake on them. I feel like this is a great place for us to stop, guys. Wait. No. Let's, uh, let's, let's do our party first. Because the only other person we need to get is Locke, right? Right, guys? If you look at the party members... The only other party member that we need to get is Locke. He's the only one that's missing, correct? Yeah, he's the only one that's missing. And the two optional characters, if you... Who are the two optional characters? Yeah, I feel like it. Let's get them too. Mio, thank you for the raid, but I was just gonna end. We need Mog and Umaru too. Okay, so those two. Yeah, we need to get all those next week. If you have Shadow in your party, his dog will randomly join the fights. Oh, that is so sweet! Thank you for the raid, Mio. Hello, Robo Ma Robo Magus. Luck is a bit rough, tough to get though. Well but I want to get him back. Foolish mortals. Because because because. Because of Locker, my mod. How are you doing, Mew? My brain has died on me. So has mine. Give me a second. I was just about to end though, Mew. Thank you so much for the raid. I hope you had a great um, Stardew Valley stream. Yeah, if you guys don't know, Mew has been playing Stardew Valley. Also, thank you for the follow, Robo Magus. Robo Magus? Do you also like Chrono Trigger? Because we played Chrono Trigger. Uh, last year, it was so fucking good. That was my first ever RPG. If you discount Pokemon, this was uh, um, Chrono Trigger was my first ever RPG. We played that last year. Yes, yes. <laughs> Robo, Robo, and Frog is my. Those two are like my favorite. Um, my favorite characters. I love Frog and Robo. I also love um, Vampire Dude. Later on, I love Vampire Dude too. But, um, third place is Vampire Dude. First place is Frog. Second place, yes, Frog. I love Frog. First place is Frog. Second place is Robo. Third place is Vampire Dude. That's my... <laughs> <laughs> Chrono Trigger is so awesome. So we played Chrono Trigger first. Uh, of all the RPGs in the world. Chrono Trigger. Then we played Super Mario RPG. And now we're playing this. Final Fantasy VI. The supposed three best RPGs of all time. I love, love, love Frog. Frog is my favorite. I love Frog. I think Pokemon is a class of all of its own. Yeah, it's technically an RPG though, but um, yeah, let's not count Pokemon. We almost made it to the 100th floor, to floor 100 in the Skull Cave. GG! Okay, wait. Anyway, um, Grizzly, you should get at least two more people before getting luck. Okay, so we're gonna go do that. Um, so what will be a good combination, you guys? I like to have Edgar. I like to have Sabin. I'm not gonna lie, Celis has grown on me, but I also want Terra. Terra is great. Terra is also hot. Um. So this is like my team. Go with Jack, there's no Jack. So this is my team. Okay, for the first time, I'm gonna try this optimal uh, thing. Equip. I'm gonna try that. Why can't I use the optimal thing? I do that that's weird um okay you would just looking it up that's a solid team i know i like this team um how to get mog and umaro before next week you get both in the same area and that's like a weird setup to it okay so we'll do that and then we'll get like mog and umaro next week and then we'll do whatever other smaller side quest that we need to do before we get lock this is great we made good progress today Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. <laughs> okay, wh how do I do the optimal thing? I'm clicking it and nothing happens. Jack, 
does she not have any good blades for herself? The bastard sword of Jon Snow. The rune blade. No. Does she not have any cool shit? really not have any cool shit. Push right over the equip option. Uh, oh! No, okay, so I do that. And then I, and, th and then I click it. And then it jumps to equip again. Why does it do that? Do I need to remove everything and then click optimal? Is that is that how it goes? Remove everything and then click optimal? How's it gonna be, guys? Yeah, it's weird. Okay, I'm gonna remove everything and see what happens. There you go! So I had to remove everything, guys. Okay, okay. Here. Okay. Okay, now we can do this. So, we'll start here. Optimal. Uh, but it doesn't equip your relics. Interesting. It doesn't it doesn't equip relics, guys. Interesting. You know the SNES version very well. That's fine. There we go. There we go. Okay, so it says for her to use the Behemoth uh, suit instead of the Mughal suit. Interesting. Interesting. So, um, I'm gonna look at Terra. Um, well, let's look at Sabian first. And let's look at what relics to equip for him. Um, I'm gonna have to say... Hmm. Yeah, I kinda like this one. As well as... What does Angel Wings do again? Ooh, cast Float on the wear. What? Angel Ring, cast Regen on the wear. This is actually pretty good. Um, but I kind of want this on someone who has the least... Mmm... Lich Ring. He makes the wear undead. Night Code. I feel like Knight's Code is good for him. And also... Hermes Sandals. Boost up defense, why not? Yeah. And for her as well, use a white cape. And... Sure, why not? There. 
There we go. That's our... That's our... <laughs> that's our thing for today, guys. That's our um, setup. Oh, no! Yeah, there we go. We're gonna save here. And we're gonna pause. This is a great place for us to save. Yay! Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed stream. <laughs> oh, God. We're gonna go raid someone right now. Um, we'll continue with Final Fantasy VII next week on Wednesday as well. Okay, everybody. Tuesdays are Metal Gear Solid. Uh, Wednesdays are Final Fantasy VI. Fridays, Pokemon Nuzlocke. Um, Saturdays, usually party games and stuff. Uh, so the next time I'll see you guys um, will be on Friday for Pokemon Nuzlocke. And this Saturday is going to be Belly OK, which is karaoke. Belly OK plus party games. So that's going to be fun as well. Um, let's see who to raid, okay? Who shall we raid? Um, I have someone we can go raid. Uh, they're currently playing some Hades. Let's go raid them. Um, let's go raid Y7. He's playing some Hades. Let's go raid Y7. <gasps> Sunday secret. <laughs> nice with you. Nice seeing you too, Grizzly. And also Robo Magus and Odie Squids. Um, all the raiders. Cooler, cooler as well. And Christian. Thank you guys for all the followers. Surreal as well. Thank you guys. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm um, sorry. I'll see you guys on Friday. So let's go kill Y7 with tons and tons and tons of kindness. Um, here are the raid commands. If you're sub, you can use that one. If you're not sub, you can use this one. If you're sub but don't want to use the first one, you can use the third one here. And um, the fourth. You never catch me alive. <laughs> you get the fifth one right here. Let me set up the raid command right now for Y7. There we go. There we go. Um, I'll see you guys on Friday. Have a fantastic rest of the week. Um, the weekend is coming. TGIT, hang in there, guys. Okay. Yo, the week is almost over. Okay, everybody. Um, stay safe and stay evil. Let's go. Bye.